Hello, and a very good afternoon. I haven't done the masterclass dance for a while, have I? Uh, welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us this Sunday morning. What are you doing up so early on a Sunday, for goodness? It's Sunday. But we appreciate you uh, tuning in and joining us. I think actually this is only the second Sunday I've ever done. It feels a bit weird um, to be in on a Sunday, but we've got loads to bring to you. Second Chance Sunday coming up a little bit later on. Uh, this though, a masterclass where we take you through loads of hints, tips and demos on a particular product range. And actually, I love the range that we've got for you on this show, uh, the Animal Silhouette Collection, which I think only launched last week. Um, it's very, very new. So you may well have not seen it before. If you haven't seen it, you're going to fall in love with it. And by the way, I don't want to um, spoil anything uh, too early on, but this little beauty here, which I know you've seen many, many times before, it is coming to you today at a price you will not believe. If you are a Platinum member and you haven't got one of these, I can pretty much guarantee today is the day that you will buy one. Why? Well, I will tell you a little bit later on. Before all that though, even more exciting, I've, I've, I've sort of completed the set today because you know I've been here three and a half months. I cannot believe that I haven't worked with this lovely lady. It's almost like they've been keeping us apart, but yes, finally I can say good afternoon to the lovely Jan. How are you? Hi Ben, I know it's been a while coming, hasn't it? It really has, but yes, I'm delighted. It's. Uh, I was looking forward to this one because like you said, not had a chance to work together yet. So I know it's going to be a fun show. Lots of top tips again for you on how to use those alphabet, those alphabet. I've got alphabets, alphabets on the on brain. The brain. <laughs> That's because that yeah, I'm, I'm two days behind because that was last week. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, animal silhouette, same letter. You see, it started with an ah, A. Ah, yes. <laughs> That was a great start, wasn't well, it? Well, you know. Cut, shall we start again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll edit this bit out when they, uh, when they, when they put it out live. Oh, dear. The thing, I, I've heard loads of great things, though, Jan, um, about you, as I'm sure you've heard many great things about me. Oh, of course. Excellent stuff. I um, watch you when I'm at home, Ben. Yeah, and, and also, I have to say straight from the off, not that everyone isn't well prepared, but as far as being prepared for a show is concerned, I think you've got to be the most prepared. Um, so because, I mean, Jan, yeah, Jan goes to the top of the class. Oh, I, it's just the way I work, Ben. I'm very organised and I, it stresses me out when I'm not. So I have to have everything ready. Yeah, I was here early for the meetings and uh, yeah, just been just waiting to go live. Love it. Excellent. Well, we're looking forward to it. Love the fact that you've got your Christmas jumper on as well. We are off to a great start. As always, uh, you can get in touch with us and get social with us on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Um, anything that you want to ask, anything that you want to comment on, uh, and no doubt we'll be chatting about various bits and pieces uh, as we head through the show. Uh, must say hello already with us nice and early. Uh, Lil J Craft from North Yorkshire, uh, Georgie Ann from Clearwater, Florida, Patty Redmond from Michigan, uh, Linda from Maryland, uh, and Myra Scott says, good afternoon everyone. Looks like lots of goodies on the show today. Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, and Evelyn Kiefer on Facebook says, love both the jumpers today. Oh yeah, as well, if you've got your Christmas jumper on today as well, please keep sending those pictures in and uh, we'll attempt to do a Christmas jumper gallery uh, a little bit later on. We've seen some crackers over the course of the, uh, the weekend. Studio at uh, craftscompanion.co.uk. Uh, Charlotte, who's uh, one of our new directors here, Crafters TV, loves all the pictures coming in. So make sure um, you send in <laughs> lots, of, lots of pictures uh, today because she loves loading them all onto the computer and then putting them on the screen. Um, no, she, she, no she, she does really, but obviously she's sort of quite new and learning the system. So if you send in pictures, she has, you know, more to do. So keep sending them in because, you know, she's got to, she's got to practice, hasn't she? Got to practice. <laughs> it's gone silent in the gallery now. <laughs> Right, uh, uh, let's get started then. Now, I'm delighted to say that we have got the silhouettes um, back on the show. Uh, I think it was last week um, that I had these for the first time and they were absolutely brilliant. Um, loads of you um, came in and grabbed these. If you haven't got them yet, the um, Gemini Silhouette Animal Dye Collection. 46 elements in total and today you're saving almost 20 pounds or 20 dollars uh, pretty much if you love your animals you are going to love this collection because you have got um, a whole host of beautiful um, animals within this collection and the clever thing is that you've got the ability to be able to um, you know give you that silhouette give you that frame give you that aperture if you want it layer these up as well to create um, a really really beautiful um, frame whether it's shaker cards as I say whether it's kind of um, layering layering these up as well you've got the ability to do that now you've got within this collection um, six different animals 
Um, you can go for these individually, and actually, I thought when we launched these um, last week that the uh, the dogs and the cats that you would get within this collection would be the most popular, but that is um, not so, um, even though I absolutely love this. The, um, the dog you can see here, and look at that, beautiful little heart frame. In this little case here, you've got it as a little uh, shaker card, which is amazing. You've also, um, if you've been uh, watching on HSN, not seen within this collection, uh, the B, because I think the, uh, the HSN collection had a burden, I want to say, or a butterfly. Uh, but there's the beautiful B that comes with this collection. Now, um, last time this was on our screen, um, it was the deer that proved the most popular. And again, take a look at that. You've got the ability to create these gorgeous cards. I learned last time off Fiona as well, the, um, the trees that you get with this uh, particular die. Silver birch, apparently. Um, I did not know that. Always uh, an educational day uh, while I'm here. So you've got your, de uh, your deer included within this collection as well. Then we've also got um, the beautiful butterfly. Again, and I'm sure Jan will be showing us loads of um, hints and tips as to how to use these, but there's so many different ways that you can use all of the dies um, within this collection. This was a favorite as well. Uh, the beautiful rabbit. Take a look at this once again. Uh, the ability to create that depth and dimension and that silhouette effect is absolutely stunning. The one that I'm missing that I haven't got is the cat. Um, but you do get a, uh, a cat within this collection as well. In total, 46 elements, 58 pounds today or $70, less you 20% that comes down to 46.40 or 56 pounds if you are a platinum member. Uh, plenty more to show you as I say when we head over to Jan in just a bit. If you want to go for those um, as individuals you can do and they're also on a multi-buy as well you can get two uh, for 22 pounds or 28 dollars but I have a feeling that once you see these in action you will want to go for the whole collection. Now before we go over to Jan and have a look at that, this, right? It's, it's not new, the Gemini Junior, but the price on this today, I have never seen it at that. It's the lowest price I've ever seen it for. Have you ever seen it at this price? $125.99 is the deal on your Gemini Junior today uh, with all the plates that you need to get started. Um, and the, uh, the thing is with this as well that we calculated, uh, Johnny and I did our mathematics, if you're a platinum member, well, because Johnny did, first of all, when Johnny did this, um, he worked it out with only a 10% discount. But I said, no, Johnny, I said, this 20% if you're platinum. If you're a platinum member, this comes down to a uh, hundred pounds and 80 pence, I think it is. That is unbelievable. If you haven't yet got this amazing machine in your life, then today is the day to grab it because it is an absolutely phenomenal deal. $143 if you're platinum in the US as well. Um, you know all about this machine, I'm sure. You know that you've got um, that kind of industry leading pressure, if you like, with it. It's gonna give you uh, the cut that you want. It's gonna give you the emboss that you want. And when you think about all of the different materials that you can run through here as well, you know, multiple layers of cardstock, things like your vinyls, things like your fabric as well. You know, if you're into your soft craft, you've got the ability uh, to use this for that as well. Well, if you haven't got this yet, grab it today because the price is absolutely phenomenal. $125.99 or $179.95, but we know that nobody will pay that price because you are somewhere within our club, I'm sure. Lots more on that to come a little bit later on. Uh, but let's cross uh, over to Jan and get uh, her take on these animal silhouettes. I guess with these being launched just um, last week, is this the first time you've had a chance to look at them? Uh, it was, yes. Uh, I got these to work. Uh, I always say I have a play with Ben because yeah. I don't consider it work. Exactly right. <laughs> it's, it's great. You know, so I got these arrived to have a play with and uh, I must admit they are a lovely take on that silhouette because we did a range of silhouette animals last year um, that were totally different to this. And when it said silhouette animals, at first I thought it was an extension of that collection yeah but then when they arrived I can see that it is a completely different concept and they are so so simple to use and I'm going to show you that throughout the class today we're going to start off sort of very basic how they cut and then we'll work up to using it on uh, different styles of cards and things like that but they are so simple to use it is literally a couple of cuts they will all fit through your Gemini Junior which is why we've popped it on the show for you today uh, they will also fit through if you've got the midi uh, some of the elements will go 
go through the mini but not the main parts uh, through the little mini so uh, midi gemini junior perfect for this of course if you've got the large gemini already they will obviously still go through there so yeah, uh, yeah we're going to have a work away through them i've got demos with uh, most of them not all of them because obviously there's a limit to how much we can fit into the show for you but uh, yeah once you've understood how the concept worked it applies the same to all the different animals so i've chosen the little rabbit one to start off with so we're going to have a look at him first and it tells you in your on your packaging how many pieces you get in each set so in this particular one there are eight pieces it also gives you the sizing for the largest die which is going to be the, uh, the the circle that goes around that outer edge of the frame yeah so inside there then you're going to get your metal elements so let's take those out and uh, pop them I usually pop them on here so that you can see them a wee bit better all right so this is what's coming in this particular collection so we've actually got the uh, decorative element here which is sort of the bit that goes behind the silhouette and that can be cut in any medium and then we've got a pairing here if I take these off the uh, the carrier sheet you can see we've got an outside circular die uh -huh. and then we've got that lovely little silhouette so this is actually going to cut from the rabbit the circle out and then you're going to get that little piece of the rabbit left in your silhouette there yeah so again you could start out just in black but introducing colors into it and then also on there we've also got um sentiments on there this one's really cute because it says hoppy birthday <laughs> so they're all themed according to the, uh, the animal yeah and then we've got a couple of um two or three little embellishments there which we're going to use as well so uh, let's show you how they work i'm going to use the junior and i'm also um i've used my Zyron machine and I know last time I was here there was a couple of people asked questions about how to get rid of the tacky so I've deliberately left it today to show you on camera I know we talked through it last week but I thought I would actually show you exactly what I meant today Brilliant. so I'm just going to take some uh, some cards so can I choose green for this I don't quite know why we ended up with green you know I mean artistic license you ah, could have a green rabbit of course you could have why a green not? rabbit yeah. so we need um, some of our low tack tape which I think is still hiding somewhere in my bag there we go so we're just going to take these down now if you're not confident if you're you know you're just starting out your crafting journey and you're not confident cutting both layers together i would recommend cutting this one first and then popping this one inside yeah now they don't they one is smaller than the other so as long as you've got them lined up properly and the key is taping them down because the last thing you want is this smaller die jumping or vice versa once you put them through the gemini with the amount of pressure that's in that machine that it, it could damage the metal work there so once you've got them lined up make sure that you get them settled on there and tape them down really well and then I've also got we'll turn that one round because we should be able to do both of these together I've got a piece of cream card which I'm going to cut that lovely filigree background out so the cream is going to go behind the green and as I say I'm going to keep this starting out very simple just yeah. detack that tape a wee bit and then pop it on there and make sure those are secure we'll come back to the other elements in a little while so they are just a thin metal die so we just need our ordinary set of shims so magnetic plastic shim and then the top cutting plate now i have to remember to turn this round today ben because my usual uh, choice is the large gemini with the junior plates which oh, go that yeah. way of course so i do need to remember to make sure that i turn them round and pop them in this way today so yeah just nine seconds through that uh, that gemini junior fantastic bit of kit i know i was watching craig yesterday craig. Oh. i've never seen anybody turn a handle i'm going to challenge him to whip some cream it'd be brilliant that's what it. i said to i yeah. said to him i want to take him home Next cream or eggs for an omelette he'd be yeah. well on it wouldn't he honestly yeah. i've never seen anybody turn a handle so quick he was very proud of himself i think he's he's, he's i think he's uh, in the dark ages i think he uses a mangle for his washing you know that's where he's got the, <laughs> that's where the practice has come from that is, he's, yeah. he's having us on he's like he's not got a washing machine he was desperate to show us that's all i'll say so he, he, he knew he knew that he could get it through we actually had it checked with uh, yeah guinness world records yesterday and they did confirm uh, that that was that a was world the, record four the seconds way. yeah <laughs> There you go. So he's the uh, oh, he's, he's now the crafting funny. wizard. That's what I'm calling him. Such there a supple wrist. So all I'm going to do is just take out either with your pokey tool, if you've got the die brush, 
either of those just poke out those elements from the uh, from the die and then round the edge you've got a release hole to just carefully pull out that lovely filigree element so just be gentle with it because it's got all those little tiny pieces in there and if we get rid of the the debris you can see now that we've got this is what's come out so this bit technically is the waste yeah. but there's nothing to stop you actually you know if you sort of start getting creative you know you could actually work with that bit and put some black card behind there just to silhouette that little rabbit and show him through you know so think about it in lots of different ways as i say there's a limit to how much we can show you in two hours but these can be extended in lots of different ways so technically that's the way so what we've got is our little silhouette here that's going to line up over that beautiful background behind it simple as that that really is it the rest of it is just card design okay so pop those plates to one side I have created as usual my mats and layers and I've kept with that green theme so we've got some centura pearl I think we're on five and a half inch square uh -huh. I've taken some green from our textured card packs I know we've had those on quite a lot recently so if anybody's stocked up on those if not they should be on the website and again you know you know me it's got a bit missing Ben oh. I'm always taking bits out of the back of my card because when I cut this at home I actually cut him out of the back of there because nobody's going to know if well, I hadn't I have told you yeah you know don't you waste, your, then? Don't waste <laughs> your card stock <laughs> yeah so that's going to stick on top of my card yeah. and then I chose a piece of pattern paper which is keeping to that theme so we're going to stick those down I'm going to use my uh, Kalal glue. Yeah. So if we're sticking cardstock to cardstock, this is nearly always. I am a bit of a wet glue fan, Ben. I do like my wet glues. Uh, it gives you a little bit of movement time. Again, if you're just starting out your crafting life, you want a bit the of wiggle tape room, is you? great, mm. but it's not quite as forgiving as the wet glue. Yeah. And if you've got this on here, it dries so well. It sets like uh, cement. So it gives a lot of stability to your card. So we'll make sure it's opening the right way. Just line that up and leave a slight border. But can you see how I can? Yeah, I can actually move it, move it around. You get, you, I would say probably at least a minute, if not a bit, bit longer, before it actually sets. Just to wiggle it into place and get that stuck down. And then we're going to do the same with the top layer. So just this one's just pattern paper out of one of my many, many pattern paper pads. We were talking about this the other day, but I have a bit of a thing about paper pads and I, I end up hoarding them. Are you one of those people oh. that will buy one to use and then one buy to another just one look to at, just look just and to sniff? Stroke, sniff at it, yeah, sniff. stroke it. Yeah, honestly. A lot of people uh, do, don't they? Buy them for it's the sniffability. It's quite sad. It becomes an addiction. Wow. I've got more paper than uh, I could use. I know I saw something on social media the other day and it said something about... Um, Oh, uh, I've spent your inheritance, kids. It's in the craft room. Exactly. And I thought that just about sums me up. It really does. Yeah. Right. So well, let's well, have a look then. What I wanted to show you. Charlotte, our director thinks you're joking me. about people buying to, uh, to sort of stroke and, and sniff. Just people throw the piece in the bin. You, you, people do. You know. So what I wanted to show you, as I say, we're always talking about using the Xyron. And we come with all these bits ready prepared like this and show you, say that that's what we've done. Yeah. So I thought I'd actually show you today. So... Uh, this one's a slightly wider one. This is the three inch one, but these ones have actually been through my little one. Okay. Is that it there? Now, I know we can't get hold of them. I do you know, Jan, have you not? no word of a lie. I hear all the time, I said it the other day, everyone always going on about the Xyron and, and I kind of know what it does, but I've never actually seen one. So th this oh. is a first for me. Is that, is a mini this one, is it? This is the mini, the baby one. Yeah, yeah, this is just an inch wide and then it goes up to three inches right. and so on and so on until the big ones, I think about nine inches wide. Right. Uh, they do change. These are sort of like a, a throwaway one. The bigger ones you can get cartridges for to replace, get mm. refills to put in them. So uh, yeah, and they are, they're really hard. They're one of those things that when we do get a delivery in they tend to sell out instantly yeah so keep your eyes peeled if you ever see a Zyron show and you're interested just just get on there because that's it but what I wanted to show you was not so much how the machine worked but one of the questions the other day all I've done with these is pop them through the Zyron machine and if I peel this coating off now quite often you get lots of little glue bits left on the, uh, the the outside of the design which are tacky so I actually talked you through it the other day but I was thought I'll show you today and all I'm going to do is pop them on my Gemini plates if you haven't got a Gemini it will work on an ordinary machine and you actually want your embossing mat so I'm just going to pop this on here take out the magnetic shim pop 
the plastic one in and all I'm going to do is run it through the machine. Now the pressure, the technology behind the Zyron, if you look at it when it says on it, it says rub and peel. Yeah. So it's basically about applying pressure. Well, that's what our Geminis are. They're just a fantastic way of applying pressure. So by just popping it through here now, when we actually peel this top coating off now, it doesn't leave any of that sticky behind. So if I just get hold of that top carrier layer, Clever, isn't it? pull this back, all yeah. the glue is sealed under the pieces that we need Got and you. there's none now in the middle of those bits that we don't want so yeah that's what i was talking about the other day yeah and as i say it doesn't have to be a, a gemini just be careful with this one because it's got the little sentiments on but you can see there those are some of the extra bits so i've, I've actually popped this piece through if you haven't got the xyron machine then your little dotty tape pen would be Perfect. excellent for this yes okay because that will get all the pieces at the back and not have to worry so if you've got one of those if not you could use your stick and stay you could use a double-sided sheet on it sticky sheet on it lots of different ways just to get some adhesive on there and then i've also cut we said we'd got the sentiment here which was hoppy birthday yes and then i've cut the two little uh, foliage leaves and then this one's a little it's like a butterfly but he's so I called him half a butterfly. You know when they settle and the wings are behind them? Oh yeah, like ready yeah. to take off. Yeah, so all we're gonna do then is literally carry on layering. So just nice and gently, Yeah. peel this background one off. And Why did you go for the rabbit first out of interest? Are you a rabbit lover? No, I, you know, I'm not quite sure. I've, I'm a dog, I've got two dogs oh, at home, yeah. Ben. Yeah, what so dogs you got? I love dogs. You just, I've got a little, well, I'm saying a little Yorkshire Terrier. He's not so little, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a big lad, bless him, but uh, he's 14. Wow. Yeah, and still going strong. He still thinks he's a puppy. And I've also got a Cocker Spaniel oh. who's as mad as a hatter. I was going to say, you have, to, you have to kind of keep your eye open. Mad as a hatter. Cocker she's Spaniels. 10 now, so she's slowing oh. down a wee bit, but yeah. yes. They, yeah, uh, honestly, they, they really are. So yes, they're, I don't know why I ended up with the rabbit. I just sort of thought, oh yeah, we'll start there. Start somewhere. Yorkshire, my nan used to have Yorkshire Terriers. Yeah. Um, yeah, in a, in a sort of later uh, life, um, she used to live with us. So Poppy and Penny, they were called. Aww. And Penny was the most excitable little dog you've ever met in your life. You could literally go out of the house to put the, the rubbish out and come back in again and she was that excited like as if she hadn't seen you for a, a fortnight that's my spaniel oh is it she's like that you got to empty the bin yeah and she thinks she'd be gone all day exactly right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the york is very laid back actually he's oh. sort of very mr cool he's uh, nothing you, bothers him much and bless him, he's lost his hearing now as well oh so he's you know you can come in the house and it's 10 minutes later when he realizes that you're actually home <laughs> so, oh hi mom you're back <laughs> And I have to be careful because if I go and wake him, it makes him, he proper jumps, Aww. yeah. So I have to be really careful. It's like you sort of, you have to bang about and, and, and make a noise so that he can hear you. We've, um, Bless him. we've got a, a border collie, because I was always a cat family, but my wife always had dogs, but we've got a border collie and um, no word of a lie now. We've got this um, app where we can uh, we can track it. It's a, bit, it's a bit freaky, it's me and my wife, like so we know where each other is. Yeah. So she can see when I'm driving home. And when I, uh, when I get home, her, <laughs> We, we trust each other. Um, when I get when I get home, her phone pings, and it came to a point where my dog uh, put the two and two together. That when her phone made a particular noise, he knew that I was coming home. So really? now, um, normally when I get to the top of the road, um, her phone pings, and no word of a lie, he starts barking and he runs to the back door oh, so he can be let out because he knows that I'm going to be coming They're in. Very They're very so clever. Very clever. So I think clever. people underestimate them greatly. Yeah. So I'm just oh. going to pop a little bit of extra decoration. Then, as I say, this one, he was almost like the wings as folded. So I'm going to pop him just in here, look. And that literally is nice and simple. Bit of matting and layering. And just layering up those centre, uh, those uh, animals as they literally come out of that... Um, that die cut in. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, the second demo, I'm going to show you a different way of, of using these, but still get the same effect. So yeah, matting and layering going on there. Kept it nice and simple, just as a beginner design for that one. Okie dokes. Love it. Super, super simple, isn't it? And actually, again, look at that for a brilliant card. For first timers, for people who perhaps are joining us 
fairly new and you're looking for accessible collections, then again, this really is the way yep. forward. And you've got everything you need today as well because you've got uh, this amazing um, Silhouette Animal Die Collection. And then of course, we've got the Gemini on an amazing deal for you as well. So this is the perfect time to kind of, wow, start your crafty hobby, really. Don't forget, as um, we've already been talking about, within the Animal Silhouette Collection, you do have uh, those six different animals, those different creatures. You've got that beautiful butterfly in there as well. And in this case, you're seeing uh, how you've got the uh, the aperture there and the beautiful uh, background there on which the butterfly sits. There's that um, lovely little rabbit which we saw in the demo there with uh, Jan. Hoppy birthday, of course. Um, also in this collection, this is gorgeous and I think fast becoming one of my absolute faves. Uh, this deer, last time individually, this was absolutely flying out. But again, like Jan saying, you know what? You're just using like the uh, the black cardstock to create that shadow, to create that silhouette. And I love that, the silver on those uh, birch trees in the background there. And once again, the corresponding Bonding sentiment dear friend you've got on there as well uh, most popular individually is this little chappy here I'm led to believe that um, when this launched on HSN uh, the B wasn't available to our American viewers so he is now so it may well be that you've got the other animal dies from the collection and you now want to um, complete your collection you will need to go for this bee uh, be happy of course is the uh, sentiment there this one i absolutely love so uh, we both just go with both jan and i uh, love our hounds and look at that <laughs> this one comes with that gorgeous um heart-shaped aperture and again uh, love that little shaker card so many different ways that you can use these uh, that one the sentiment on that is uh, wishing you a poor perfect day there is a cat which comes with this with this uh, collection as well currently the cat has gone missing um, um, but you do get that within the collection. 46 elements, 58 pounds or $70 today. And of course, you've got your 20% discount on top of that as well, uh, bringing the price down even further for you. Now, this next deal you can thank Jan for because uh, I had some notes to tell me that uh, this deal wasn't supposed to happen but Jan is uh, able to pull a few strings around here. <laughs> and apparently- I know the boss, Ben. Huh? <laughs> I know the boss. Oh, that, oh that's what it is. Good, good. So did, did you storm into the boss's office to get this deal or did you ask nicely? That's what I want to know. I just love my sparkle pens. And with this particular collection, they, they go together. And I'm going to show you that throughout the rest of the demos. Uh, yep. Um, so basically, what this deal is that Jan's managed to uh, manufacture, I mean, I could, if I had gone in and asked the, the boss, she'd have <laughs> laughed me out of the office. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, this is brilliant. So basically, the deal that you've got here on the Sparkle Pen, it's a 24-piece collection, is the deal that we had across the Black Friday weekend. So we've got that deal back for you, which is unbelievable. It's a 40% saving across the board. These pens really, truly are magnificent. And once again, you know, if you... Even if you're not, you know, massively into your colouring, these are the kind of things that you can sort of get now uh, and, and begin to use over the course of the next few months. Even if you just want to get these to add some sparkle uh, to your, um, you know, your Christmas cards, to your Christmas tags and things like that this year, then these are perfect. You're going to get within this collection uh, the spring summer. So as you can see here, you've got your pink champagne, uh, you've got solar red, moonlight, emerald green, soft jade, and that gorgeous topaz. And hopefully uh, you're seeing that spring sparkle coming through your TV screens there. It is phenomenal. And they're so easy to get going as well. Um, you know, it's a, just a little bit of uh, priming and away you go. You've got your floral garden in there too. Again, more gorgeous colors there with the orchid. You've got that firefly, tangerine, and your pink lemonade. Then you've got your barn red in that gorgeous cotton candy as well. Next up from your autumn winter collection, look at that. I love that smoke quartz, absolutely glorious. Look at the shine that you get with that. You've also got starry sky, you've got your olive jade and holly leaf, your harvest moon and that rich berry as well. You know, talk about those for your Christmas makes, those bottom two colors there. I think are gonna work absolutely perfectly. And then finally, again, you're gonna get Nature's Trail. All of these included for this price, don't forget. So that is your mushroom, it's your watermelon and lilac. Um, I never know how to pronounce this. Is it lichen or lichen? Lichen. Do you know, I had to look this up, Ben. I thought you'd know this. I had to look it up because I wasn't sure. And I thought, ah, Ben will know. But what I found out was, is that in the in the UK, yes. it pronounced it as lichen. Yes. 
and in America it pronounced it lichen. Ah. So I think either or is acceptable, yes. Yep. So yes, we can use yep. either of them and I think we'll get away with it, Ben. That's good. That's why I didn't know because, you know, I'm obviously, you know, uh, transatlantic, international. Um, I, I tend to use lichen when I'm here, not lichen, lichen. Lichen. <laughs> I use lichen when I go to the European mainland, lichen when I'm here in the UK, and what was the other one? Lichen. Lichen, yeah, when I go to the, of course. the States. Yeah. Uh, you're also going to get, <laughs> no one believes a word I'm saying, uh, <laughs> you're also going to get your garden green and uh, sunshine as well. There's only one way to say that, obviously. Sunshine. Uh, 60 pounds, $79. It is the same deal that we had on Black Friday. Don't thank me, thank Jan. And also don't forget if you're a Platinum member, uh, you can take another 20% off that deal as well. Uh, of course, wherever you are in Club Inspire, you won't pay that price. Even if you're only a bronze member, you're still gonna get 5% um, off that deal. They are phenomenal. Um, and it's a great day to get shopping because that price, as I say, is super, super low. Uh, we've also got the option of the, uh, the liquid inks for you too if you want to go for those and we have loads so again with these um you're going to get three little pots within each of the collections now we've got the pa pastels now where where that one is i have no idea oh here it is perfect pastels that Good was guess. lucky <laughs> Uh, and within this collection, you have got your uh, your moonshine, you've got your cosmos, and your red quartz as well. Thing to say about these, so this is the same as you get in your pen, but you get more within the uh, the, the pot, as it were, Jan, don't you? Yes, yeah. What we found was the pens came first, Ben, and yeah. we, we you know we did all the techniques with them. And what we found was is that for a lot of background techniques, which is what I'll show, I'll actually show you this later. But for yeah. example, just to create something like this, which is just a background, and you can see that lovely sparkle on it there. What we found was is we were squeezing the ink out of the pens to use with a paintbrush. Yeah. So off our Leanne went on our pro and head of product development and said, well, that just seems a waste. Why put it in a brush? Why put it in a pen with a beautiful brush nib to squeeze it out onto your mat and use it? So then along came the little pots of ink. So you will find that the colours are actually the same range of colours. It can be either or, or it can be both. I tend to use both purely because I've got my pens for colouring or for stat, stat direct to stamp things like that which as i say i'm going to try and show you some techniques later on in the show but then if i'm wanting to create backgrounds i'm literally paintbrush straight into the little pots of ink and it goes so much further that way you're not wasting the pens because yeah. the pens are not refillable so once the ink's gone and then you can't buy them individually so you're into buying a set again so keep those pens for things like coloring with and those techniques that need that brush nib and then you've got those little ink pots for all your arty techniques where you're wanting more ink to flow on a background and things like that. Excellent. Um, yep. You've got a, a choice of different colours as well. Just quickly rattle through those for you so you know exactly what you've got to get. Your Glitz and Glamour um, is the uh, the next set that you can go for here. These are all $12.99 or $19.95 or you can buy one, get one half price. Uh, that one in there includes your uh, Aquamarine, your Amethyst and your Pink Garnet as well. Next up is your Forest Glade. Um, a bit more of a sort of Christmassy feel about this one, I suppose. You've got in there your um, beautiful um, <laughs> lichen, lichen, <laughs> licking, uh, cotton no cream. Licking, ben, no, don't go licking. there. No, and yeah, <laughs> it's just Jan. And you also got, uh, I can't read what that one's called now. What's that one say? Heart side. I need my glasses. Heart side. Heart side, it is. Yep. <laughs> <Jan>. <laughs> Don't want you getting a sparkly tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you've also got the ability to get your hat. Yeah, no, no licking. Uh, you've got the enchanted hues. Now here, you've got your cotton candy. Uh, you've got your teacup and your fireflight as well. Uh, remember, 30 mil pots. So these really go a long way. 12.99 or 17.95. Buy one, get one half price. Love these mystic tones as well. Here, you've got your peacock blue, your fig, and the gorgeous uh, peony. And then last, but by no means least, here it is, your traditional Christmas. Uh, this you might want to go for right now. You've got your glacé cherry, your festive 
uh, spruce and also your sleigh bell as well. Lovely, lovely colours there. $12.99 or $16.95. Buy one, get one half price. Must just say a few more quicker loads because there's loads of comments coming in today. Katie on Facebook saying, happy Sunday everyone on the road. Second day trip of heading from Arizona to the Colorado Rockies today. How far is oh. that? No idea with my American geography, I've got to say. That sounds like a heck of a road trip. Uh, Mary Lee saying, good morning from snowy, cold Colorado. Oh. Eight 18 degrees Fahrenheit, which is minus eight degrees oh my in our goodness. money. That is Ooh. that is icicles on the nose, isn't it? Yeah, That's we thought three is. degrees was cold here, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> cool. I mean, we're positively tropical compared to Colorado. Uh, Mary Lee saying, so happy Ben and Jan will warm up my heart and crafting. Well, hopefully we're doing that. Um, Pam saying, hi, Jan and Ben, just putting my faceted boxes together whilst watching. Excellent. Lots of love for the Xyron demos as well. Uh, Joanne Louise saying, love the card and the green bunny. And Fred saying, Jan's use of tweezers is admirable. <laughs> <laughs> um, keep those comments coming in. Must just say as well, very quickly, I know we've got to go back to Jam, but um, the Gemini Junior is an amazing deal. Sam's saying, I have two Gemini Juniors, two Big Daddy Geminis, one Gemini Go, Gemini Mini, and a Gemini Midi, and a partridge in a pear tree. Uh, do you think I love your Gemini machines? Well, Sam, yes, I think you do. And by the way, very quickly, if you haven't yet got the Gemini machine, let me put it front and centre. Best deal I have ever seen this on today. Not only is it already down to 125.99, so it's a saving off the usual brilliant price, but, but if you are a Platinum member, in the UK, it comes down to uh, 100, 100 pounds and 80 pence, so literally 80p over 100. Uh, and in the US, I think it comes down to about 146 dollars. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal deal. If you're shopping for this in the US, get on it quickly. It's the lowest price I've ever seen it at, and the stock is very low. Um, in the US, okay? Uh, and again, if you're in the UK and you haven't yet got one, in my eyes, th this is the best time, was the best time since I've been here to grab this because I've not seen it at a lower price. So uh, make sure you grab it today. Right, enough waffle from me. Let's get back over to the creative side of the studio uh, and see what Jan is up to next. What are we gonna look at? Right, okie dokes. Um, I'm gonna carry on with sort of a relatively simple uh, format for this one, but I just wanted to show you a different way of using the die. So it's pretty much cutting it uh, like we had just done, but in a, just tweaking it a little bit to give you a different look. So I've chosen the butterfly silhouette for this one. Again, seven pieces in this one. So they do vary slightly, but it's telling you it's an idea, uh, keep, keep track of it when you're putting things away yeah. to make sure that you've got the right number of pieces and then it's got the sizings on again. And if you notice, each particular animal has got a different shape with it. Mm -hmm. So we started off with the rabbit who'd got that circular shape. We've now gone to this sort of flower, uh, what I call, you know, like when you used to draw flowers when you yeah. were younger, just typically that shape. I still so, draw them like that. <laughs> <laughs> so again, when we take it off there, you can see we've got that metal there and we've got that beautiful filigree element there that's going to cut out the background. And exactly the same as we had before. We've got the large, I'll pop them on here so that you can see, the large outline and then the silhouette part that goes in the middle. So yep. last time we cut both of these together to make like that little frame. Now I'm going to do it slightly different. Now the reason I picked this one out was just to show you the sparklings. I'm going to come back and show you how to do this later on in the show. But what I've got is a piece, again, my, I love my Centura Pearl. So I've just made a seven by five card out of my Centura Pearl. Yep. And I'm going to cut directly into the card this time. So rather than make it a topper, we're going to cut the aperture out of the front of the card so that we can see through into the other side. So all I'm going to do is open it out and I want to position uh, just the inside bit here. If I cut them together, I'm going to cut out a hole which I'll be able to see all the way through. Yeah. So I'm going to omit this outline die this time and I'm just going to cut this part so if you remember, I said that the cut line went all the way around the outside of the die yeah. and then it goes round into the silhouette. So it's going to leave this part and this part in the card, but it's going to cut away this part here. So let's just stick that down. And again, I would always, when you're working with something like Centura Pearl, or if you've got a card stock that's um, got a rough texture on the top, try and stick your tape 
to an element that you know is actually going to be waste. Yes. So I know that this bit's going to come out of here and I don't actually want that bit as part of my make. That's a great so I'm going tip. to stick the tape into there. Yeah. Now again, uh, my your, yours is probably like this at home, but my plates have got a lot of scarring on from cutting the metalwork. Now that is what they're there for. You can see if I put my hand under there, it's got well all used. these little marks. Yeah, well loved on both sides because we actually you know we encourage you to flip them over so just to protect my centura pearl i'm actually going to wrap it in a little blanket ah so i've just got some copier paper good old-fashioned copier paper yeah and i'm going to pop that round this part here and what that will do it'll stop any of this scarring marking the front of the centura pearl it's also handy if you're cutting things like miricard again anything that's got a really shiny surface you tend to find that you get the imprint from from the, the scarring on the plates so again we're going to pop that one and because we're using the junior I'm going to bring it right to where the fold is onto the edge of my plate I'm not worried that this part's sticking out I don't mm. need to cut anything on there and then literally build up my series of shims again so exactly the same thin metal dies and we're going to put ah now then I've just thought of a snag there what's that I'm used to working this way, Ben. Oh, yeah, I? we're going. Right, so, all right, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to pop, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. I'm going to do it that way up. And I'm going to pop this one around my magnetic shim. Is that the Krypton factor? Yes, I have to think on my feet then, yep. So what I've done is I've still got my die in there to cut facing up against the plate. But what I've done is I've wrapped the card back around yeah. the um, the magnetic shim because we need it all inside. I was using my larger Gemini at home, so I just left the card hanging out of the back here and it went through this yeah. way. But just trapping it inside there, I'm hoping we should, uh, should be okay with that. So again, once we get this out, we're just going to have that little aperture to look through. And then we're going to build behind it this time on the inside of the card. So let's see if that worked, because we've got, bring that piece out from under there. I've got a little indentation in it from this now, but to get rid of all the gubbins. And then we've got here, when we pull this piece out, you can see now, if I pop my pattern piece, my coloured piece behind it, can you see how it's just cut out the aperture yeah. now? Mm -hmm. So slightly different. If I'd have had this die with it as well, it would have cut it out as a whole frame like we did with the rabbit at the beginning. So what I'm going to do now is actually build up onto the inside and yep. I have got, I'm just going to swap it over for this one. I've done exactly the same here. It was a bit, bit blank at the top because I'd worked straight onto the card. So this is just a bit of um, washi tape out of my stash. Oh, okay. And I know a lot of us have got that hanging around. So mm. anything like that or a strip of cardstock, anything that you've got, because it was just a bit plain at the top. And the reason I've brought that one in is because I've added this on, I went all the way around it and I've just added a couple of little gems inside the butterfly. So we've got to the same stage there as what I've done when I've cut that one. And then I've taken um, a piece out of our to have those textured cardstock packs. Again, I wouldn't be without. And I've put some red line tape on there just to secure this down that edge so that it's loose, what I call loose leaf. So when we open it, we've got this part and then the inside of the card. Makes it look a bit more expensive. A bit loose leaf, yes. Yeah, a bit loose leaf. And then this is a bit that I'd been playing with for something else. And I thought, do you know what? The colours match perfectly. So I'm actually going to put this in as well. And I'm going to stick this onto here. Okay. So that we can see that lovely sparkle through the back of here. So we'll stick that together in a second. I want to do a little bit more die cutting because I also want to bring in... This is from our ice blue luxury card. Ooh, this yes. is the Miri card. I love this colour. It's my favourite of those packs, the, uh, the ice blue one. And then we're going to cut that lovely decorative piece out of the Miri card. So let's just put on there. Um, details coming up on your screen of various uh, individual elements from the collection. Because you know what, if you want to go for the individuals, you can. They're $12.99 or $14.95 before your Club Inspired discount. And they're on a deal as well. Multi-buy, any two for 22 or 28 um, So there's lots of different ways to be able to uh, buy these. It may well be that you've already bought some of the individuals and you want to complete the collection. So if you want to do that, uh, $12.99, $14.95 or any two for 22 or 28 uh, Lots more comments coming in, which we'll have a look at in uh, just a few moments time um, and some questions for Jan as well which we'll, uh, we'll do very Excellent. shortly 
so again got most of the pieces out. I know some people like to give it a good bash on the side of the table yeah. but I'm not, not I'm not that person oh uh, well it depends no. who, you, who you're with and some people yeah. say it's okay and some people are a bit like well, well you shouldn't you know it's not it's not good um, good crafting etiquette to bash your dies I don't think it really damages them no. the only thing I would say if you are going to do that is make sure that you tap against the flat side right I would never tap against the cutting edge for fear of damaging it yes. so if you're going to tap tap it with that flat side against but it's just not me I just don't like the idea of all those little bits flying everywhere because then I have to clean them up afterwards. Well, that's a good point. So, yeah, doing it this way, I'll, I'll clean the die out afterwards. Well, here doing, you don't, do you? Doing it this, pardon? Here you don't have to clean up after yourself. I think you can leave as much mess as you want, can't you? Well, I don't know. I had to clean up when I came in today and I'm not saying I was here oh, yesterday. Whoa. Honestly. Really? And, yes. And the Scotty Hottie left a mess? I, I, honestly, I'm going to have words with the Scotty I, Hottie, I'll tell you. Oh. Cheeky mare, he is. <laughs> He come in and I was knee deep in backs off the foam pads, I'll tell you. Oh, well, <laughs> Little well monkey. even if, you so didn't if you're know. watching, Craig, yeah. yes, I cleaned up all the mess. If you're watching, Craig, get yourself over here now and clean up the mess that you made. <laughs> that is outrageous. It's like, even if I hadn't to be watching him yesterday, I would have known who'd be here with the <laughs> yeah. amount of backs off the foam pads. Yeah, exactly right. Honestly. Oh, dear. I don't know. We love him to bits. We, really. do, we, we do, we do. Right, so just a little bit of um, tacky glue on the back of there. I've got my tweezers. I use my tweezers all the time. And I'm just going to tap off some of the excess because I don't want it to squidge and, uh, and get onto the front of my shiny mirror card. Yeah. Right, now then, it would help, Jan, if you stuck this bit in first. So let's just pop this bit inside. Whoops. Inside first because I'm going to stick the mirror card then on top of the glitter. So again, this bit's just going to go, I should have stuck that bit in before we stuck the rest in, I think. But basically just inside there so that we can see it through the gap. Yeah. And then this one I'm going to line up now in that aperture, just so that we've got it underneath and then give it a good press. So you can see now we've built up layers. So if I bring the one in that I did earlier, you can see that this one was actually more like a topper. So we cut yeah. the outside edge and made a topper that stuck onto the card. Whereas this time we've actually gone along the route of cutting into the card so that we can see through and we've got detail underneath there. And then again, we've actually got um, on that sheet, we've got just for you this time, which I've die cut onto a banner out of the same blue mirror card. And then you also get two extra little butterflies, which we can pop on as decoration. You could actually layer this one on the middle of here. You could put the little one on the middle and layer it up however you want them. So again, got my foam pads. Okie dokes. And then they're going to go on top of there. So again, fairly straightforward. If you're just setting out in your crafting journey, this is easy to accomplish, but I just want to, and there are other ways as well. You know, it's like with all the dies, the more you play with them, the mm. more you experiment, you think, oh, actually, what about if it did this? And I would just say, you know, get some scrap card or yeah, even the photocopier paper and have a play with it. If you do cut out a copy of paper, I would tend to put a couple, two or three layers together because it is a bit thinner. Uh, but yeah, you always find, well, I tend to find if I buy a pack of cardstock, there's always one colour in it that I'm not so keen on. Yeah. So use that one, have a practice, <laughs> see what it can do. All right. So that was going to be the design for that one. Again, keeping it nice and simple, but cutting in to the card so that you've got that little aperture. So if we stand that one up there, you can see the details and you've got that sparkle. You've got the lovely mirror card Brilliant. and then the sparkle links behind that. Okie dokes. Absolutely love it. Fabulous. Lots of lovely comments coming in as well. Must say hello to uh, Coletta who says, good morning from chilly, cloudy Kansas. Loving the bee. Uh, Betsy on Facebook. Good morning from Rainy Houston, Texas. Great day to stay inside and craft. Uh, and lots of chat still about um, dogs and uh, lichen, lichen. Uh, <laughs> Shadai says, Ben, dogs are very smart to the point where if you're in trouble and can't help yourself, they know what to do. Um, I know of patients who are saved by their dogs. We always have that chat in our family, actually. Uh, myself and my wife, whether or not, you know, if because I go running with my dog quite a lot, whether if I fell, say, and broke my leg or something, whether he would have enough sense to to go and run for help like no, Lassie. I, I'm, not, I'm not so sure. He's so interested in his stick or his ball that he's carrying. I just kind of feel <laughs> that I'd fall over and he'd just drop his stick in front of me. I think you'd be surprised. You? Yeah, yeah, if he well, thought you were hurt, yeah. yeah. Hopefully I'll never have to find out, but um, there we go. Uh, and Li Lil J Craft on Facebook says, I'm in the UK and I always thought 
Lichen was pronounced lichen. Every day of school. Well, I now I'm really confused. I don't know what I say. To be honest with you, it's not a word that I say very often. Um, but lichen, lichen, whatever you want to say, really. Uh, lots of love for the liquid ink pots. Dan is saying, love the liquid ink pots. And Marilyn says, I want a Gemini Junior or a full-size machine to make the CC purses and for slimline cards. Um, I love the slimline look. Well, listen, if you want to get a Gemini Junior, Today's, Today's the, the day. day. I want to sure recap, recap on that deal um, in just a little while. But um, let's go back to this collection of the um, the animal, the silhouette animal dies. These are brilliant, and I can kind of show you in a little bit more detail here now. Family boards as to uh, exactly what you are going to get. So this is that uh, beautiful dog, and uh, you know as Jan's been um, demonstrating here, you can, you can use it uh, kind of as your aperture and having the beautiful background um, behind the aperture, or as we've already seen, you can make it into a little topper should you wish, or in, you know individually you can use the separate elements from the collection. That's the brilliant thing about it. Versatility is the key here once again. That's what I love about the collections that we put together at Crafters Companion. You've got so much versatility. And again, whether you are someone who's, you know, years down your crafting line and you're, and you're uh, you know, a, a bit of a crafting expert, should we say, or if you're someone who's just starting, these kits are accessible for all. Have a perfect day, uh, says the dog. Here's the cat, there we go. <laughs> uh, the cat is back. Once again, the cat is silhouetted in that glorious heart. And then you've got that heart texture background as well. Have a perfect day and then i love the fact that you've got the little heart dies there um, as well then of course you're going to get the beautiful butterfly that we've just seen in that last demo um, with jan there again gorgeous background that you're going to get with this and now you're seeing how the system works hopefully becoming nice and uh, self-explanatory for you as well this one again and i know i've said it a couple of times already hugely popular um the dear friend take a look i just love i mean even if that was you know sort of uh, black and white but there in the uh, the brown it just looks absolutely gorgeous doesn't it um you get a little star and a crescent moon with that one as well then we've got the beautiful bunny rabbit if you missed the uh, demo on this earlier on it was um jan's first demo around about uh, 40 minutes ago or so so you can watch that back later on uh, that one comes with happy birthday and then the addition of some extra sort of foliage dyes and then oh now that's the bird. You don't get the bird in this collection. That was the HSN one. What you get is the bee. There we go. Um, so that bee is included within this collection. So if you uh, what, saw this originally on HSN, you'd have got the bird. You won't have got the bee. So if you want to go for that individually, you can. As a set though, £58 or $70 is the price today. Less your 20% um, comes down even further for you. Now, lots of people chatting. Do you know what? Lots of comments as well about the, um, the Gemini. Uh, and all the people who've already got the Gemini saying, what an amazing deal. It truly, truly is. Bad news for, off the bat first here is I said we didn't have a huge amount of stock in the US. And in the US, don't scream and shout, but this is now sold out. It's gone, unfortunately. So UK viewers, take your leave from our American friends and get this now whilst you can, because it's normally at a great price. It's down to date. This is the lowest price I've ever seen it for. I don't know if you've seen it for a lower price, uh, but I've never seen it at this low, 125.99. Factor in if you're a Platinum member, that's another 20% off that, which brings it down to just over 100 pounds. It's a phenomenal machine, and we're gonna show you a video now which will tell you exactly for why. Have a look at this.
That is why the Gemini Junior is so popular, honestly. Uh, well, if you are a regular viewer of the channel, you'll know how good this machine is. You see it day in, day out, um, you know, being used on all of the shows. Reason why, it's a real workhorse of a machine, a machine that's gonna do the job for you each and every time, whether you're die cutting, whether you're embossing, you know, no matter what the material, it's a brilliant, brilliant machine. If you're brand new to us, or maybe you've just been watching for a while and you've been thinking about plumping to get yourself um, a die cutting and embossing machine, I think this is an absolute steal. Sadly, it's sold out in the US, as we said, but UK viewers, to get this today, as a, as a platinum member, you'll get the extra 20% off, for just over £100 is phenomenal and it's a machine that you will be using for years and years and years to come. It truly is. So please don't miss out on that deal today because I, I don't know how long it's going to be around for. Uh, certainly know that we've got it uh, for this show so don't miss out. Uh, lots of lovely messages still coming in. Um, Tansy Pansy on YouTube asking, can you refill the pens with the pots? We did cover that earlier on. Uh, no, you can't with the, um, the sparkle pens, but of course, you know, you can get the pots individually uh, or just jump on, grab some more pens because they're a brilliant deal today as well. Um, and Michelle saying, good afternoon, Jan and Ben. Finally managed to watch a live show whilst assembling some flowers. Ben, I love your jumper. Could you please tell me where it's from? I need it for my husband. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'll have to, well, in between shows, I'll have a, I was trying to look at what um, Jam was in our last time. I can't get the tag off. What's in the label? Uh, what's in the label? I've had this one for years. Isn't so that I would one in the to, side? Huh? Sometimes there's one in the side. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, hang on. Oh, look, here we go. <laughs> this is from, uh, this is from uh, uh, George Asda. There you go. <laughs> Craig's favourite shop. Yeah. Craig's favourite. There you go. Nice and affordable. Yeah, exactly. Uh, other supermarkets are available. <laughs> I, I literally, I, this won't be there now because this is one of the first ones I bought years ago. Um, but there you go, George uh, at Asda. I'm sure for the right amount of money, um, I could probably, you know, make me an offer. No, don't, no, don't, don't. Uh, let, let's, let's talk let's about... Let's not go down that no, road. No, let's not do that at all. Uh, let, us, let us talk about the Bumblebee, though, because uh, this is, uh, of course, within the collection that we've got for you. However, if you saw the original bundle on HSN, uh, this was not included. So for our American viewers who might have already got the full collection, uh, you can now really make it full by adding... Uh, the B into your collection as well individually. $12.99 or $14.95. It is proving uh, very popular individually. Uh, Producer Johnny's been telling me. So um, if you want to go for that for $12.99, you can do. However, take advantage of the multi buy as well. If you want to add that in with one of the other animals, uh, any two for $22 or $28 dollars is the deal on this again comes with um, eight different elements and gives you the ability like those other dies as well to um, do so many different things with this and i always think um you know bees and butterflies in craft tend to crop up quite a lot so i think it's the kind of thing that you will be using uh time and time again and then um, you know a very versatile um die set i suppose for the fact that you can use it for lots of different occasions jan can't you yes you could yeah i think that applies to them all actually ben. yeah it's, it's sort of like they're quite generic in that respect whether it be a birthday an anniversary i like sending those just because cards or thinking mm. of you you know that are not necessarily for a, a, an event or an occasion just just to let somebody know and we were saying earlier you know that particularly this year you know just dropping a card so through somebody's letterbox saying that you're just thinking of them is, is probably quite a big thing this year uh, i know there's so many people that are home alone you know and it's uh, it's nice just to sort of be able to hand make something and, and drop it off for yeah, somebody lovely. so i thought we'd come back to the b now and like i said before each one's got its own sort of shape so we're we're back to the hexagon which obviously lent itself to the b because of the honeycomb and the background element to this actually builds up the honeycomb section which looks fantastic so we've got that same you can see that same sort of uh, method coming through with the die so we've got that back outline die which will literally just make you a mat and layer you know so that one could be used quite um, generically it doesn't have to be used with the set and then we've got that lovely b silhouette there mm. so that we can cut inside so we're going to cut both of these together again this time it's stuck there we go we're going to cut these out of black for the bumblebee and then i'm going to cut the honeycomb out of some gold miricard this time i don't use masses of miricard but i think you know in the right place it's uh, it's it's it just finishes a card off nicely so again we're going to just take these down still got some bits of tape stuck on here so we've got 
Again, if you're not confident with them both, I would cut the largest one first so that you've got the actual mat and then you can see where this one lines up. But when I pop them inside there, you can see that there's like a, a millimetre gap all the way around. Yeah. So as long as they're not touching, we're good to go. And again, pop the bulk of the tape in the area that you know is going to be the waste. All right, so that's that part. And then we're going to do the same with the honeycomb. And I do tend to stick things down purely from past where I thought, oh, I could do this. Mm. And you pick your plates up and you spin around. Where I work at home, yeah. my desk's here and my Gemini is actually behind me on the cupboards behind me. So when I spin around to go and put it in the Gemini, the dies fly out oh, and nice. all sorts of bedlam happens. So I have learned over the years that it does pay to actually pop them down with a bit of sticky tape. You don't get dizzy crafting them to spin around all the time? No, as long as I come back the same way, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be honest, there's barely room to spin a cat, let alone me round, Ben. <laughs> It's on my to-do list for I've got some time off after Christmas and yeah. I uh, it's on my to-do list to try and sort it out because it's like a it's like going on one of those SAS obstacle courses <laughs> just trying to get to my chair honestly you need an insurance policy it's that bad <laughs> seriously brilliant it's like nobody else dare go in there for fear of falling over something or breaking a leg or goodness knows what else <laughs> it's a nightmare like a booby trap yes yeah. yes I know when anybody's been in because there's things falling over and all sorts. <laughs> I know where they are so I can step round them, you see. <laughs> so again, when we take those dies off, we've got that piece there in the middle again, which I said, you know, you could use inside something. But look at him. I think that is just absolutely stunning. It, is. it really is. And again, you know, you could cut this again in another colour and just snip him out along the edge of the border, layer it up on top so that you've got that sort of 3D effect with it. Got all these ideas now. <laughs> you know, I've sat prepping at home and then of course all these ideas come in. And then the other bit that you would never throw away is inside here, round the edge you've got the half pieces, but inside you've got all these lovely little hexagons, which of course you have to save, Ben, just in case you want to use them for extra decoration or yeah. it might come up on another card. And I'm not kidding, because if you look in here, I've got lots of little bits that have come out of other, there other you go. things. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, it, it would be rude to just throw them all in the bin. So. Again, we'll pop those out. I've learned very quickly, there's never any waste oh. when it comes to craft. You can always find you know, other projects, other cards to pop your so-called waste into, especially those little bits as well. Always good for maybe like, you know, shakers. The shake or... cards, they would be brilliant yeah, for, yeah. For so yeah, keep them, don't So I'm gonna away. get rid of the half pieces. Keep those, I'm not quite sure for what yet, but we'll keep those. And then there's a couple more there, but just look how well they cut out absolutely beautiful so again with the idea behind this let me just bring that plastic one back so that we can see a bit better the idea behind is that the honeycomb goes behind it and then the little bee that is going to lay up over the top and i think you know it is just stunning if we tip it a little bit you can see yeah. the shine on that card there all right so i've done a little bit of work again in advance because we're going to go z fold this time okay I love these. Uh, I know Sarah likes a good Z fold card. Z -fold, yeah. So if you're not familiar with these, this has literally started out as one piece of A4 cardstock. Okay, you can see there that we've got the A4 size, and all I've done is I've trimmed it. This is about two inches, I think, and then I've scored it at the halfway mark, and then I've scored it again at half of that halfway, so a quarter and a half, exactly the same. All right. And then I like to fold it with the pearl inside so that when I've got my Z, I've got the Centura pearl showing and the plain sides on the reverse. Mm -hmm. And then I folded this one in exactly the same way. So you can see there we've got the Z the same, but I folded this with the pearl on the inside. OK, OK. Now, the main thing with the Z fold is all we're going to do is flip this over. And it's as simple as that. Yeah. So you can see now that you've got that mechanism. If we do it from up there, you can see the shape there to create that fold. So just to show you again, when we've got them both folded the same at the quarter mark and the halfway mark, fold it back on itself. The reason I folded the pearl inside here was because we were then going to flip it over, expose the Centura pearl, and we've got that mechanism to work there. 
all right and then I've made the mats and layers and this is where I went a bit crazy with my inks and my sparkle pens wow so because we were working with the bee I've actually worked with a couple of our inks I've got a couple of the yellows and this was literally you've seen us do this where we pop the ink on the mat and then you pick up the ink from the card and I've created all the bits that I need for this particular one but then I wasn't happy then I thought right we need some sparkle so out of the floral garden, yeah. we've got two again that, that work beautifully with this particular collection. So we've got uh, Firefly and Tangerine. Okay. okay. So literally all I've done with that is squeeze a bit out on my mat and then splattered it. Yeah. Technical term, just splattered it all over. And as I say, the next demo, we'll actually do a bit of this for real so that I'm not just talking you through it. Okay, so all we need to do then, I've got a little bit of sticking to do, Ben, okay. to pop these together, and then I'll come back to that topper. Um, where I'm just going to get these mats and layers stuck it. Oh, I'm more organised than I thought, look. Oh, blimey, look at that, you're well ahead of I the game. I was getting my tape pen out, and I've actually got bits on the back I already. I knew you'd done it already. There's, um, whilst you're sticking, there's lots of messages coming in. Carol saying, uh, love Jan's helpful tip. She's a great teacher. Thank you. Um, we've been chatting about loads of stuff today. Uh, back to the dogs, uh, Rachel on Facebook says my dog alerts me to low blood sugar i'm diabetic and don't know when it's dropping he's not had any training but he does he just does it by nature wow. that's amazing that's impressive because you do have those um I, i've um, seen them before the medical yeah. uh, detection dogs who are trained in in various things and who can tell yeah that kind of thing or when people are going to have seizures but to have your dog know that that's that incredible trained, that is yeah unbelievable and quite reassuring i would think yeah. as well absolutely yeah um lots of chat about the machines as well today what the other thing i want to ask is who's who's got the most machines right because i'm <laughs> seeing i'm seeing people saying i've got this machine that machine the other machine michelle saying i have got the big gemini and the gemini junior i love them both i love that i can use the junior plates in the big daddy i think hubby got me the large falling platform for christmas a few weeks ago so i'm looking forward to that addition how do you know michelle how, have, you been, <laughs> have you been having a little bit of a, a prod a little bit of a, a little sneaky peek in there uh, who was it who mentioned they had nine machines? Someone earlier at message saying I have nine machines. Um, I can't remember, but yeah. Let us know how many machines you've got. So who's got the most machines watching us today? Um, Mary Lee saying, thank you, Jan, for the tip on avoiding marking mirror card. It's been a problem for me for some time, and this is such an easy fix. And lots of people, Jan, commenting about your craft room as well. Um, <laughs> Pam saying, Jan, you need to get a couple of the mobile craft rooms, maybe. Oh, excellent. That's what you need to do. Yep. Uh, I've got a whole shelving system in there from our fav favourite Swedish store. Oh, and that, right. that's full as well. Oh, really? I actually, when I, when I started working for the TV team, I actually gave my craft room an overhaul yeah. uh, because it was just sort of built up from bits that I'd got here and there pr uh, previously. But when I started doing this as, a, you know, as my, my job, I thought, right, I'll treat myself and actually do uh, a nice new craft room. So we went to that famous Swedish store that we all love yes. and bought all the proper storage. And there's that much in it that there's now piles of stuff all over the floor. It's just crazy i'm not kidding i just have to try and take some photos I've if only, i'm brave enough i've only ever been into that store once have you it, and never again <laughs> it's never an either love again. or hate relationship isn't it it I, really is yeah I, uh, I, I, I was led in there by my good lady wife under the pretense that i was going to get some meatballs <laughs> And uh, we ended up in there for what seemed like a week. I'm not <laughs> even kidding you. Yeah, they've got it very well sorted, haven't they? That you have to go all the way yes, around before you can get back out. They know what they're doing there, yeah. don't they? Eh? My husband hates it, Ben, so yeah. you're not alone, yeah. Oh, dear. Right, so what I've done then is I've actually attached that piece that... Um, we've just cut the mirror card here on its own, which would look great on the black. But I've actually popped a piece of lemon behind it because I want to make this into a topper. And then what I've done is I've used the outside edge of the die. So I actually took this bit, drew, drew round it, and I've just cut this bit freehand because I wanted it slightly bigger yeah. than the cutting edge on here. All uh -huh. right. So I want to actually layer this on here so that we've got a bit of the black showing. So I'm just going to stick that on with a little bit of the... Uh, the tacky glue there so the yellow is just a peat again those textured card packs all the time come in handy my glue's decided to get stuck up so we'll swap that for some kalal it's not plain i need to clean it out um, so yeah we'll just pop a bit of kalal on the back because that will work just the same okay Sam's got, I talked about machines, two big Geminis, two juniors, one Gemini Go, a Gemini Mini and a Gemini Midi that's two, four, five, six, seven machines 
Joe on Facebook, I've got five, all five plus the foil press. Uh, Jillian on YouTube, hi Ben and Jan, I've got the Junior, the Mini and the Big Gemini. I just picked up the MIDI from the range, still haven't used it. I mean, it's always good to have a machine and maybe a spare, but like, like nine or se seven, eight, nine machines. They all have a use though, Ben, well, honestly. And if you've got multiples, just think, you know, if you make batch cards or anything like that, yeah, well, you've yeah. got, you know, if you, if you actually multiply your dies, you know, and sort of when they're on offer, buy a couple of one that you know that maybe if you're making batch Christmas cards, yeah. buy two of the same die, two Geminis going at a time. I've done that before. I must admit when I've been prepping stuff in the past. I can just imagine um, you now in your spinny chair having like <laughs> one at each <laughs> angle. <laughs> <and> just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I haven't actually got that many. I've got the um, the large one and the junior. I've got the Gemini Go and I've got the Mini. Yeah. I am still waiting on the MIDI. I haven't got the MIDI yet. It's on my wish list. So, uh, yes. It's good as well, isn't it, that we do the electric kind of machines, the big, the bigger ones, you know, like your junior, like the big daddy. And then we do the, the sort of manual ones as well and the more portable ones. So I, There's know, something I, out there for everybody, exactly isn't there? Right, yeah? Exactly right, yeah. Um, Patty's and just said, I've got eight machines once my Gemini arrives. Uh, Celia says, I have nine machines, but I love my two Gemini machines as I have a, a problem with my right arm yet again the, these Brilliant. machines are so good for yeah. that again aren't they for people who struggle to to, to use the manual ones. certainly yeah it mm. takes all the hard work out of it doesn't it we're not all as adept at whisking as craig are we no oh we are, <laughs> by the way if you don't know what we're talking about yesterday uh craig <laughs> was uh, demonstrating on the uh, gemini midi basically showing off how quickly he could <laughs> get his eyes through uh he was saying he's faster than, than the junior he managed to um uh, do one pass in four seconds I mean, that man has got a, uh, a wrist action. It honestly. was pretty impressive, was I must admit. A lot of people were messaging saying, did you speed up the, did you speed up the video? Did you speed it up? That was, no, that was the genuine speed that he did it at. Uh, something to behold. Yesterday, I'd say it was about, what show was it on the second show? Uh, oh, now then, I'm not sure, because I watched I both of them yesterday. Uh, I think it was on the, uh, no, what did we do? I can't remember what we did yesterday now. Um, oh, we did a master. Did we do a masterclass? He did. <laughs> oh, craft house. It, it was, was on the first house show. With Sharon, wasn't it? Yeah. It was on the first show yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I'd say about halfway in. Uh, it has to be seen to be believed. Right. So I've actually stuck my card with its mats and layers on now. You can pop another one in here. I tend not to, just to cut down on the bulk. By the time you've got all the mats and layers, so I tend to leave this one plain. But you can mat and layer that one just the same as you can do this one inside. All right. But what I often do with these is pop a panel in here to write your message on, or alternatively, you can put a panel on the back to write on the back of there. Yeah. So that's the makings of the Z fold, and then we've actually made this one into a topper again. So he's going to go. Uh, on the front here I think we'll stick him straight on the front there so I'm just going to pop a little bit of the uh, the double-sided tape runner there just for speed and pop that one on the front and then in this particular one we get the phrase be happy so again just die cutting that out of the black to keep that theme going and I've used the same yellow as what's behind here and that one's going to go up in the top here mm -hmm. and then in my little packet here was the bits um, that were left over from cutting last time along with you actually get some different size rect uh, rectangles hexagons yeah. with this as well as decoration so you can see there maybe black wasn't the best color there you see the uh, the yellow a bit better so you get sort of three different sizes there yeah. again that you can just add as extra decoration you know so as much as or as little as you want so we're going to pop i think we'll pop that one on a foam pad which i think i should have some in here yep we'll just pop a couple on the back of there i must admit i'm uh, i'm i never used to use foam pads much but i blame the scottish one hey I do. Don't we all? I do. By he's, the, uh, he's, he's, he's converted me. By the way, Mary Lee on the problem of uh, people like the hot, uh, Scotty Hottie who leave bits all over the place. Uh, Mary Lee says, I solved the bits and pieces all over problem. <laughs> this sounds like an advert. With a dust buster. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a handheld vacuum. <laughs> Makes quick work picking up all the pieces. Excellent. Just takes seconds to clean up. There you go. That's what I needed, you see, earlier. Yeah, so that's yeah. what you need, yeah. Um, 13 cutting machines, by the way, is now our. Oh, is, is that the record so far? Uh, Fred171 on YouTube. 13 cutting machines from several companies, but Gemini are my favourite. Obviously. Obviously. Excellent. Wow. Um, 
And Gillian just saying, I bought the big Gemini when it was launched and I got it out of the box for the first time today. Oh! Why do you wait so long? But it's good to hear, Gillian. You'll have uh, many happy hours crafting with that, I'm sure. I know when I used to work in the store, we used to have a lot of the customers. I bought it, but it still sat in the cupboard. It was yeah. like, whoop, get it out and get it used. No, you know, I don't know box, where that went it? then. Oh, here we go. No, I was getting a bit box. excited then and uh, off it flew. Were you down at the, um, the Chesterfield store, did you say? Yes, yeah. I was supervisor there for... Uh, Two years, I think, before yeah. we came over onto the TV team. Yeah, and I worked with um, with Debbie, which is how how I know Debs, and we built a, a really good friendship while we were there. What, so what's she like, Debbie? That Debbie. Ah, Debbie, Debbie yeah, Robinson. she's ah, my Debbie. bestie. She is. Oh, is she? <laughs> she is. Yes. Ah. Yeah, we get on great. So we don't live very far away from each other. And uh, as I said, she was assistant store manager, and I was the one of the supervisors. So yeah. So you can just see I've used some of those extras to decorate. You could carry on. You know, you could have some in here. Yeah. but that's using the sparkle pens in the background there as well and then we've got that lovely bee silhouette animal in there okay absolutely brilliant um love that if you want to go for the bee individually uh he is available they're all available individually actually and they're also on a multi-buy for you as well so um it's entirely up to you how you want to go for it as i say i know a lot of our um viewers originally bought this collection on hsn where you got the bird but you didn't get the bee so you can complete your collection for $14.95 today. Or if you just want to mix and match, maybe you like the bee and you want to go for the bee and the cat, I don't know, you can get it on a two for $22 or $28 deal. Or actually, you might want to go for the whole shebang because you have got it all here. Uh, so the bee is included in the main collection and then you're going to get all of these goodies as well. So uh, whichever, uh, whichever animals you love, you've got them in here. You've got the really cute doggy. Everyone loves a dog, don't they? Well, I suppose you're either dog or cat really, but you've got the dog and the cat in here. Love the fact that our little um, canine friend there comes in a heart shape uh, and then you've got the heart background there of course as well and like we've seen you can have them as apertures you can use them as toppers have them as sort of innies and outies you can use them individually if you want it's entirely up to you how you do it this one is have a perfect day and then you've got even more of those beautiful little heart dies to uh, embellish all of your uh, projects as well there's the cat which I know will be very popular as well. And once again, as with the dog, uh, the cat comes with that heart-shaped frame. Have a perfect day. And once again, more of those little mini heart dies are included as well. Uh, you saw the butterfly a little bit earlier on. If you have just joined us, and Jan did a lovely demo of this earlier, so you can see that. Watch that back a little bit later on. Uh, you've got that almost sort of um, floral shape to go with your butterfly. Wonderful sort of filigree background, and more smaller butterflies to add the detail uh, onto your project and your sentiments there just for you. This I absolutely love still, the dear friend, been so, so popular individually. Again, the background of that is gorgeous with the silver birch trees. Love the additional smaller dies as well to, to add to your projects, that gorgeous style. That'll come in handy for Christmas as well, won't it? Uh, and then you've got that crescent moon too. Dear friend are your sentiments there. And then the rabbit, this is the first demo that Jan did uh, right at the top of the show. Again, gorgeous circular frame. You've got this sort of uh, gorgeous uh, foliage background there. Happy birthday is your sentiment. And again, more foliage included uh, with the ferns and the leaves in there too. The B also included with that, £58 or $70 is the deal on that today. Only launched last week. Oh, hello. Ah, I haven't done that for ages. I, I have not done that for it's like ages. The old uh, domino trick. Did you used to lie the dominoes up when you were a youngster, Ben? I did. And you, you know what? Them. Ironically, yeah. never used to be able to knock them all over. Ah. You'd, you'd, you'd hit about two and then it would go wrong. And now look, perfected it. They only knock yeah. one off. I know. Yeah. How did I do that? I, don't, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't worry. Uh, hang on a minute, because that's nobody wants me to watch me put this back together, do they? I'll tell you what, I'll do it in a second. I'll, I'll do it in a minute. Producer Johnny's going, move on, get over there, what are you doing? No one wants to see you do that. Um, let's show you. What we're we doing now, I completely lost my train of thought. Sparkle pens, that's what I was going for. Thank you, good job you're here, Johnny. I tell you what, producer Johnny's chatting away. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to do half the time if it wasn't for him, seriously. Get over there, what are you locking the set over for? You rubbish, where's Joe? All right, all right. Oh, by the way, that's just reminded me. That's something that you've not reminded me about. I've got to tell, got, got to tell you something in a bit about 
Because if, you, if you're expecting to see uh, Joe or Derek tomorrow, you're not going to. Why? Find out in just a moment. Oh. First of all, I want to tell you about these. Uh, the, the sparkle pens. Now, um, we're going to see a demo on these in just a few moments' time. Uh, and these are brilliant. As I've said, do you know what? If you are just going to buy these for the first time to um, you know, do a bit of decoration on your Christmas projects, on your tags and your cards, these are absolutely perfect for doing that. But it is all about adding uh, that blingalicious detail, as Arfiona would say. It's all about adding uh, that sparkle. And I love this collection. You're getting all of them at an amazing price. Jan's the lady to thank for this because the price you're seeing on screen here is the deal that we did for Black Friday and Jan's managed to get this price back for us with a 40% saving for everybody. You've got the gorgeous Nature's Trail included in this collection. Also, uh, the Autumn Winter, which I absolutely love. I mean, how, how much are you going to be using these over the, uh, the coming weeks? Gorgeous for your sort of Christmas cards. Love as well that starry sky. Love the smoke quartz as well with that beautiful sparkle. Also, as part of this collection, you're going to get your floral garden. I saw a uh, little hint of that on the last demo, didn't we, with um, uh, Jam. We saw the uh, the tangerine and the firefly was included there, but you've also got the uh, the barn red, the cotton candy. Look at that, pink lemonade, love it. Uh, and then the orchid is there too. And then finally, uh, within this collection, you've got your spring summer. Uh, again, really, really gorgeous. Love the blue topaz, there's emerald green there. You've also got your solar red, pink champagne, your moonlight and your soft jade as well. Remember, that deal is phenomenal for the fact that we, sh we shouldn't have had it at that price today, uh, but it is down to the Black Friday deal uh, that we had just a few weeks ago. So grab it whilst you can. The liquid inks we've got as well, so the, the, the pens and the ink sort of a bit of a separate entity, if you like. Uh, these, aren't sort of, these aren't refill pots for the pens. Um, you know, if you want to do bigger projects, uh, projects where you're kind of applying more sparkle, then I would say that the, the, the pots are the ones to go for, really. Now, um, we've got a whole collection for you, and I've obviously not put these back uh, in the right way. But no, I'm going to follow you guys. I'm going to follow you guys. So we're going to start off with the, uh, the Perfect Pastels, which is your, uh, your Moonstone. You've also got your Cosmos and your Rose Quartz as well there. So you're 30 mil within each pot, okay? Um, and as I said, they're 12 99 or 19.95 individually. However, if you want to go for two, you can buy one, get the second one, half price. Uh, this is the glitz and glamour that we've got here. Again, three pieces. You've got the uh, aquamarine, your amethyst, and that gorgeous uh, pink garnet. You can just see the array of colours right there. Uh, you can also choose from your forest glade. Um, again, with that, three glorious pots. Now, I think that's got a bit of a Christmas feel. We have got a traditional Christmas selection for you, uh, but that one, again, um, quite Christmassy colours. It includes your um, hearth side. <laughs> oh, no. I know what's coming. <laughs> it also includes your... Mid-green. <laughs> Mid-green. Yes. Really the green. Um, and your, gar your garden green as well. Lichen, like, I'm so confused. <laughs> Lichen. You've, you've also got your Enchanted Hues, which is this one here. Uh, this one I can do, I think. Yeah, Cotton Candy, uh, Teacup, and the Firefly as well. Uh, you can also choose from your Mystic Tones, which is here. This one is your uh, Peacock Blue, your Fig, and your peony again you can see the choice of colors that you've got and then the real christmas one is your traditional christmas this one is your glacé cherry your festive spruce and your sleigh bell that is really gorgeous the colors that you get there 12.99 or 16.95 now um I, i've got to tell you something but i can't tell you everything <laughs> there's, there's been a lot of chat about this I've got to put my serious face on now, Ben, stop looking about and, and deliver the, the seriously. Um, so tomorrow and Tuesday, we will not be live, okay? There is no Crafters TV tomorrow or Tuesday. So we apologize for that because I know lots of you love to tune in each and every day, but we're not gonna be live tomorrow or Tuesday. If, however, you're gonna miss us, of course, you can always watch back some of your favorite shows with your favorite presenters. Um, and of course you can watch those at your own leisure. What I will say is, for those of you going, oh, what, no Crafters TV for two days, it is going to be worth it. Because come Wednesday, there is a big reveal. 1 p.m. UK time, you need to be joining us because you will not believe what we have got 
to tell you. That is all I'm allowed to say, but all I will say is tomorrow and Tuesday, watch back some of your faves um, via YouTube, via Facebook, via the website, and then make sure whatever you do, be with us Wednesday, one o'clock, because you will not be disappointed. What's he on about? They're all saying, now what's gonna happen? <laughs> what's going on, Hey, hey, hey! Can't say anything, my lips sealed. It's good if stuff. If I say anything, whew, I'm uh -huh. in big trouble. Big, <laughs> don't big let trouble. it slip. No, shh, don't, just, mm. <laughs> um, so yes, now, let's look at the sparkle pens. <laughs> right, we're gonna have a look. I said we'd come back to these. So uh, sparkle pens and sparkle pots. So I'm literally gonna go right back to the beginning, just in case you haven't seen any of these products before. Yes. I know a lot of you have the, some of these in your stash. This may be an opportunity to stock up on them. What I was thinking with this, with it coming up to Christmas, is this would be great if you've got crafty friends out there. You know, you're gonna get sort of your, your packs there, split it between four people for Christmas presents sorted yes that's where i was thinking but just for the benefit of anybody that hasn't come across this particular product before i've actually taken your favorite color out of my uh, box ben i've got the lichen out of here just for you like him <laughs> And this is from the Nature Trail. So the sparkle pens come in a pack of six. You've got the colour band across the top and then it actually tells you the actual colours on the back of the pack. Yeah. So they come to you looking like this with this funny little yellow band in the middle. I picked the worst colour, haven't I, to show you the difference between that and the band. <laughs> oh, there well. we go, look. You can see the little band in there. So yes. this is how they come to you. Just to show, I show you the band and it blends in, doesn't it? <laughs> it just happened to be lichen coloured. I never thought okay. about that. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're, we're going to do the litching, what liking. we're actually going to do is just undo the barrel here and we're going to take this bit off this is actually technically waste or it comes in for a mixed media project so oh. again that goes in the keep it bucket good and then this is actually a sealed unit all right when it comes to you like this so what we're going to do is actually pop this back together and inside the top of your pen there's a little pin that's actually going to pierce the barrel and we need to make sure that we, we, we tighten it up all the way. It pierces the barrel and then allows for the ink to start and come down into the barrel. So what I'm going to do now is just give it a good shake because the um, the glitter in here will settle mm. inside your pens. It's a really fine glitter in a water-based ink. So it will settle. We do recommend that you keep them laid flat for that reason because if you keep them upright in a pot, you're going to get all the glitter settle in the bottom of your pen. By keeping it this way, it's spread out more and it's easier to distribute it when you give them uh, a shake so to prime your pens bless I once had a lady come back to the store when I was working in the store and she said these pens don't work she said I wondered if you could change them for me and Aww. we had to go through the process with her because they come to you you can actually see the green just starting to come down into here look yeah, yeah. already but on the side of here it's got the word push so all I'm going to do with thumb and finger is just gently squeeze more so than push i think and you can ooh, you can see the color coming yes, down into the comes. barrel and then literally backwards yes. and forwards and you've got all that gorgeous sparkle and i mean it's not christmas without sparkle is it of course not and i can see this you know i mean literally i've put a minute amount on there and i can see that sparkle already yeah so once it's dried you'll get an even better you can just it's actually oh, wet yeah, at the moment yeah but once it's dried you'll get the sparkle come through but because you've got that brush nib on here these are great for you know sort of it's really really fine tip on it you know so you can color into the smallest of spaces if you want to use them for coloring they're great for sort of we were talking the other day about the the thin strokes and the thick strokes to do your writing oh like your calligraphy not, yeah i'm not the best but you can see how you know you upstrokes the thin one lay your brush flat as you come down and you can sort of do you know so if you've got time i thought you were actually, licking then for a second it's hello oh, i should have it? done shouldn't i <laughs> If you've got time to sit and, uh, and write all your cards like this, you know, you can do it, or even the envelopes are, uh, are nice. So again, you know, just laying the brush down mm. gives you those different effects. And again, we were talking the other day, if you lay it flat, 
you know you can make your daisy flowers with them and i would keep the pen for using those things that need a brush stroke yeah and what we found as i say when i was going back to that original conversation what we found was is we were squeezing these out onto the mat to use as an ink uh, okay. and it's a real waste of your pen to be honest you know because like we said they're not refillable it's sealed for a reason when you get them you can see i've used the pink one and the mushroom here but these three have still got the um the little yellow circles on they've not been used as yet this is a new set um you know but it's like obviously to have the risk of that being damaged during transit the last thing you want is your pens arriving home and no ink in them so they're yeah. all sealed to keep them safe but they're really really juicy and again now this has dried can we pick that up on the camera now and just get that glitz in there here we go yeah you can see the shine coming through look at it just look at the glitter mm. in there and that was only a tiny amount that i've put on there yeah yeah brilliant now in the ink pots you get exactly the same kind of ink so I've, this is a different collection this is actually the um enchanted hues in here so we've got the cotton candy in this one yeah we've got firefly and then teacup blue okay so these come to you in the little packets and it's got a plastic lid on here which i tend to keep because this makes a great palette if you want to take any of the ink out to use with a brush uh, yes, yeah idea. so hang on to that bit and then you get your, your pots a satin in a second one actually yeah. so you've got both there i'm just going to take the blue and the yellow out okay so we've got um let's have a look i've got the teacup blue and firefly yellow which are from enchanted hues and i'm just going to take somewhere oh i've just used my piece of card there i'm gonna we'll pinch another piece of card and again, if you're wanting to create backgrounds like I did when I made that card earlier and I popped the piece inside for a background, it's going to use a lot of ink out of your pen and they're not going to last as long as you would like them to. So again, having it loose in the, um, the jars works wonders. Now, if I just turn this over carefully, can you see underneath where that glitter settled? Yeah? yeah so when they stand you will see that settle in the bottom so because of that we need to give them a good swirl i yeah. wouldn't recommend shaking them no. because all you'll do is transfer the ink into the lid and when you open it there's all sorts of potential hazards going on there which is why i've usually got blue fingers or green fingers <laughs> or whatever so just a nice swirl there is a little ball bearing in there so that actually disturbs the uh, the glitter yeah agitates it and gets it flowing and i don't know if, if we can get up right close my be better with the yellow one but you can actually see the glitter swirling can we get in close on there can you see it swirling about inside there yeah. now i can still see there's still some residue in the bottom because these have been stood so again just keep working it until that what you don't want is just the ink yes you want the sparkly bit in there this one this will be even better if we can get this one going if we get ready to zoom in again okay rare are we ready she's poised ready Charlotte are we ready, ready. Charlotte? Look at oh, that. Oh, here we go. Can you see it? Look at it. Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. That's brilliant. Yeah? Yeah. And that's that glitter swirling about in there. Yes. So what we're going to do this time then is open them carefully. I once had a disaster with a red pot of this. Oh, um, no. Honestly, Ben, I was in my craft room yes. and I don't know what happened. I really don't. But I ended up with it all down, mate. And it oh, looked as if no. there'd been some kind of massacre going on. <laughs> <laughs> it was before my daughter had the baby and I messaged her a photograph of my lap yeah. and the floor and I said to her, I said, you'd think I'd had the baby, not you. <laughs> Honestly, there was red ink everywhere. I'd just literally get stripped off and go and get washed. It was absolutely all over the... Fortunately, it's not a carpet in my craft room. It's tiled floor, so it all cleaned oh, up. But, do you know, I, was, I wasn't bothered about me or the trousers. I was gutted that I'd wasted all the ink. <laughs> <laughs> right so oh, watercolor card is the best i found for this because it's made to soak up the water it's really sturdy it will take the punishment of adding water to it and not warp so much so just got water in my pot here nice flat brush and i'm literally going to wash the card with water to start off with yeah. i find this that allows your ink to spread a bit better and then we're going to go straight into the pot with the yellow and just look absolutely yeah, beautiful gorgeous so don't waste it I usually take it back off the uh, the mat the, the glass mats the craft mats are great for this and then i'm going to take the other half wet the bottom of the card 
and I'm going to put the blue and I've deliberately picked blue and yellow because we know that those are primary colors just look how it wicks when you've wet the card yeah just that in itself I love like and obviously seaside scene going on there. when we mix blue and yellow yeah we get green is so it? the colours actually mix together as well. So you don't have to worry about, you know, if you haven't got a green, if you didn't have any lichen in your set, <laughs> like then in. you can make it with the two different colours, okay? So again, if you want it darker, you can add a bit more. Yeah. It does come up darker if you go straight to the card without the water first. So like I wash the card with water, I like my uh, ink to go quite a long way. If you prefer a darker tone, if you go straight onto your card, I just show you on here you'll see that you'll get a much oh, deeper yes. effect with it so again have a play you know see which works best for you it depends what kind of technique you're doing and then if you let it dry do you let it dry naturally yes i, I prefer to Again, I'm not a very patient person where crafting's gone. I've got a lot of patience for a lot of things, but not crafting. I like it to be done now. So uh, I do sometimes, uh, but I've got one of those very low heat tools. It's not the heat gun that's directional. So it's a very soft heat on it. Yeah. But once you've let it dry, you can layer it up and deepen the color. So you can see how a second layer on there would actually make it a wee bit deeper. So you can see a little bit more intensity not mm, a lot but yeah. obviously the water does dilute it a little bit but what it doesn't do is dilute the glitter and um, Suzanne asked just very quickly about it does any sparkle come off to the touch once it's dry no not not oh. excessively maybe okay. an odd a bit but not bit. excessively it's sort of it, you don't know it's like it's encapsulated in the uh, the suspension liquid yeah it's clever stuff wow now again i've just cleaned my mat up for speed but if i was at home i'd actually be taking another piece of card and mopping all the extra up so i'm just going to pop that to one side what have i done over there pop that to dry for a second uh, just to say the uh, details of the glass mat on the bottom of the screen there for you uh, 21 99 13 but it's this one here it's massive uh, there you go 13 by 19 um, that one so if you want to grab that today always super super handy to have you've got your um, measuring guide on there of course your tempered glass cutting surface great as well because you've got grids for the different size cards on there too um, so many reasons to grab that 21.99 um, Patty's saying love my glass mat don't know how I ever crafted without it I've yeah. um, got an update on the animal silhouette range for you in just a second uh, well, I'll tell you now actually the big the big bundle don't scream and shout, but that is now sold out. Oh, yes, it has gone. Um, we can bring you some of the uh, individuals uh, in just a bit. We'll concentrate on those, but the uh, bundle itself has gone. So congratulations if you've got your hands on that. Right. It looks like you're are you using different colours now. Different it's ones? the same colour, but a slightly different technique, Ben. And this is like, if you ever did painting uh, when you were younger, did you used to get the paint books that when you added water to them, the colour appeared? Yes, yes. This is almost like the reverse of that. What I've done on this, it's still watercolour card, but I've taken a stamp to it and stamped and embossed with white embossing powder. And you can just see that starting to come out at the top. And the embossing powder acts as a resist. So when we go over the top of the embossing powder, the ink doesn't stick to it. And you can see that particular image popping out from the cardstock. So again, it's, it's clever stuff the way it's done. Let me just get a, uh, another piece of kitchen paper. We'll put a little bit, shall we put a bit of sand at the bottom? Yeah. Because it's actually a, a seahorse in there. He's yeah, coming up in the next show. Uh, I just grabbed him. So just put a little bit of... Gorgeous. yellow at the bottom there oh we've gone into green again quite uh is what's that yellow is that called fire firefly, firefly. it's really uh bright, it's really bright it's isn't it yeah yeah and then again just to dab off the excess if you use kitchen paper can you see how while that was still wet it's put all that lovely texture into it so it's actually making it look a wee bit more like sand yes so let me just get this off here and then what i'm going to do just with a a soft pl ideally it's better to wait while it's dried but we're always chasing time here so just with a clean bit i'm just gonna 
just gently buff over the top. Can you see how the white embossing powders come out there? Because it resists the, because the ink's water-based, the embossing powder resists it and you get those lovely pictures going on inside it. And I just think this would be great for the kiddies because you reveal yeah. the picture from underneath uh, yeah. just by letting them paint on it. Yeah, so just a couple, there's a lot more we could show you with the inks. Honestly, there's loads of things that you could do with them. But uh, just to give you a couple of ideas there of things that you can work and the difference between the actual pens and the pots of ink as well absolutely perfect L loads of love today uh, not only for the demos but also for uh, the jumpers as well uh, <laughs> Mary Lee saying I love Jan's jumper oh thank um, you she looks fabulous and festive Jan is such a great teacher and explains things so well um, which is so so true uh, Melissa saying on Facebook that my, San my Santa's kitchen jars are done well done Melissa sending the pictures we'd love to see them um, Rosalind saying I love my sparkle pens always making different backgrounds with them tansy pansy on youtube i absolutely love these and the clear pens everything and i mean everything is sparkled right now uh, monica on facebook saying ben your sweater is awesome i love it so much thank you for wearing the sweaters it has been so much fun i've got more to come next week as well don't you worry i might have a christmas suit up my sleeve as well um, and marilyn saying jan's classes are fantastic she's patient and very descriptive i always learn something new with her uh, uh, and uh, do you know what? Uh, my first experience of working with Jan, I, I agree with you all. Uh, very, very descriptive. I'm following along. Uh, very patient. And um, yeah, yeah. So I'll let you into a secret, Ben. I don't know whether you know this bit what? about me. My, in a previous life, I yeah. spent 14 years in pri working in primary school. Ah! So there's a teaching background there, which comes in very handy. I was used to actually breaking things down into manageable parts yes. with the children. I think it just comes naturally into this. I, I, I just sort of like, I think about how I would learn it yeah. and just literally break it into the parts. And it's an absolute pleasure to be able to come and do that for our customers and yeah. actually teach you guys how. And and basically share what we know as well it's not just oh i found a new technique i'm going to keep it for myself it's like get it out there share the love you know and it works both ways because yeah. i learn from you guys as well i see pictures on the uh, social media some of the design teamwork that's done you know and i think oh that's a good idea what about if i try that with something else you know and that's where it all comes from um, so yeah complete teamwork it certainly comes across um with the way that you show all of the demonstrations and you can tell your patient as well because you've got to work with me and johnny and we're like two little kids <laughs> so, so Oh. Exactly, it must just be like being back in the primary school. I've got one blabbering away me here and the other one licking the, uh, the sparklings. <laughs> Oh, I love it. And love this it. is what I get to work with, you see. <laughs> oh, dear. Got oh, your dear, sus oh, now. You know that I love you both, guys. Oh, yeah. And our Charlotte in there as well. We're not forget you. She's so exactly. quiet, bless her. Sh Charlotte doesn't know what she's let herself in for. She's only been here a few days. I know, days. I think we're scaring her. I know, exactly. I wonder if, she, I should, wonder if she'll be back. No, I'm sure she will. <laughs> Right. <laughs> let's um, let's oh. have a look because we have got look. some pictures coming in. We're off to Southern Wisconsin uh, because Kim has said, "Look at this! Look at the snow! Look at that. How Today. deep it is! Look how far up it comes up the doggo!" Oh wow! Well, I'm sorry. I have to get a bit closer at this point. Oh, you got like, is that an Alsatian? I think it is German Shepherd. That is amazing. That is proper snow, isn't it? That is proper snow. I love that. Oh, is I'm that, a bit jealous. Is that a plant in the foreground or is it a bird? It looks like a. It looks like a bird. Like it a, does, doesn't it? A garden ornament. Yeah. Is. Fantastic. That great. That's a lot that. of snow. The dog looks like uh, it's having fun as well in the snow. That's awesome. Hey, listen, get your pictures in. Um, well, if we've got more snow pictures as well, that would be brilliant. Send in your snow pictures. Um, any Christmas jumper pictures we want as well, please. And of course, um, we heard from Melissa earlier on who said that she's made her Santa's kitchen jars. If you make any projects today, it doesn't have to be with this collection it's nice if it is but if you've made anything you want to show the rest of the world then um, do send the pictures into a studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk and we'll get those pictures shown if not during this show uh, then during the uh, the next show coming up second chance sunday is on the way uh, in just over one hour's time i can't believe where the time's gone we've got about 15 minutes remaining Ooh. so let me show you what we have got available as far as the um silhouette dies are concerned because we have have had a sellout of the main collection so you can now go for the individuals or you can go for the multi buy so I can tell you that still available we have got um, the B um, if you want to go for him individually yeah you can do these are 12 are they 12.99 individually I think they are yeah 
or 14.95, uh, 22 pounds or 28 dollars if you want to go for uh, two of those. As I say, for uh, our American viewers, it may well be the first time that you've seen them because that wasn't actually part of the HSM bundle uh, that we did going back just a few weeks. Um, right, still also available individually, we have got the uh, the butterfly. So let me show you that one there. So again, um, hopefully you're kind of getting the, uh, the idea of these now and how they work just beautifully together. All of the different layers there to create apertures if you want, make toppers if you want. Uh, you've got all of the little individual elements in included as well and it just makes it so nice and easy to create these beautiful cards seven elements included with the butterfly for 12.99 or 14.95 next up um oh hello making a right old mess here is the deer um again you can grab this individually the best way to go now, I think, for value for money is to go for the multi-buy, go for a twofer. So if you like the deer um, and you like that butterfly, you can get both of those for £22 or $28. We've also still got individually the rabbit. There you go. Uh, again, if you want to see a demo with the rabbit, that was the first demo that Jan did right at the start of the show um, at one o'clock. So you can still grab that one individually as well. Uh, dog and the cat have sadly gone. So um, that's what's left. Take advantage of the deals before the individuals sell out, because they probably will. Now, I'm very much looking forward to this next demo because I think I think it's become my fave. The more I've seen um, this particular collection, the more I've seen the demos, the deers. And it's quite Christmassy, actually, isn't it, the deer? It is, yeah, it is. I like this one, I must admit. I don't know, I saved it. I don't know, I saved it while last, but uh, it is a little bit more advanced demo, this oh, one. Okay. So I'm going to talk you through a lot of it. I've got a lot of it prepared, but there were certain elements of it that I wanted to sort of show you where we were going with it. So again, you can see what we've got there. Let's just bring that other mat in for you. All the same format. We've gone to the square aperture this time. So again, you can see on there that we've got that outline die which makes a great matte and layer. And then this one is beautiful with the little deer yeah. uh, inside there. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, put my little star back. So we're gonna use those two. And then we've got those lovely birch trees in the background. And again, you've got deer friend, yep. as in D double -E -R, And then you've got the star and the little crescent moon as your embellishments in that one. So. I'm actually going to make a, a diorama card this Brilliant. time. So I've actually prepped this, my one of my favourite card stocks. Anybody that knows me knows I love my craft card. Absolutely love it. I was thinking craft is Christmassy, oh, isn't it? Yeah, reason? I just, I don't know what it is about it. It's nice to work with and it comes up great with a lot of the designs. So mm. all I've done is I've got two pieces that measure eight and a quarter, which is the width of our A4 here in the... Um, UK. I know it's a little bit wider in the States. It would work just the same. You just have to adjust your score line slightly. And then it measures five and three quarters tall. All right. So I've just made two pieces exactly the same. And then I have scored them at two inches in and then two and a half inches and then flipped it round and scored at two inches and two and a half to create that sort of fold that you can see there. All right. And then exactly the same. And when we put these together, you can see that it's creating that sort of diorama, theatre style, whatever you mm. want to call, to, to make the scene inside. OK, so I've also taken one of the uh, elements from here and I've actually no, tell a lie. It was this one. I've actually die cut out of the centre, the one with the deer. OK, and then I've just snipped it away from the edge because I didn't want the deer in this particular one. I want to look at those through the window. Yeah. All right. So that's as far as I've got with that one. And then you can see this is that lovely. We were just playing with that teacup blue. Uh, you can see here it, it, it's dried in all its glory. Oh, wow. Yes. With the glitter. It, just look at that. It's beautiful. So these are going to go. I've got one to go in the back here and then I've got two for the front panels on there. So I'm not too worried about that side of it because I can always stick it together. I'm just conscious of the time. And then what I've done here, last time I was here, we had the um, gilding flakes on the show. Oh yes. So we've got those gorgeous gilding flakes. So I've actually taken a piece of double-sided um, adhesive. So it's sticky both sides. I've stuck it down to a piece of cardstock and then I've actually taken the, the cover off and added my gilding flakes to give me that lovely 
piece there. That's pretty. That's all yep. gilding flakes, is it? That's just gilding flakes. That's brilliant. All right, and we're going to die cut out of that piece. So what I want to do is actually put the frame and the deer on top of there to die mm. cut. So we've just got a bit of tape. My tape's lasted all the way through the show, look. All right, so again, line them up together with that little millimetre gap and stick them down. And again, I'm going to stick them to the bit that I know is going to come out at the end. So let's pop those through the machine. I've even written on here, look, cut deer, just in case I forgot what I'd done. <laughs> so we're, we're prepping advance and it's like, <laughs> cut deer, just in case. By the time I got to the end of the show, I obviously thought I might have forgot what I was doing with well, it. Well, you prepped so many demos. <laughs> have you managed to get them all done? Put it, yes. You have? Yep. Oh, brilliant. And then I've got another set for later, for second chance. We've got some nice uh, nice things on the show later. Great timing. We timed this to perfection, haven't we, Jan? Seriously. <laughs> So I'll pop this through and he's going to come out. It looks stunning. Uh, in, there's not a lot of the, the gilding flakes left, but it does give a really nice effect. Mm. So again, with your tape, rather than ripping it off like the band-aid, if you fold it back and roll it, I find that there's less risk of any damage. Uh, I know sometimes it's with the pressure in the Gemini, sometimes it does actually catch your cardstock. So just roll it back rather than pulling it. And I find that there's actually less chance of it ripping anything off underneath just to, to roll it away. Yeah. All right. I mean, this is actually going to come out anyway because we don't need that piece. That's actually the, the waste element again. I put that to one side and then take the outside frame off. And then wait while you see these. Right. These are just absolutely and very, very festive, I think. Yeah. So just gently, because his antlers are very delicate. Let's pop him on that blue cardstock so you can see it against there. But it's look. Brilliant. You know, I mean, just that on yeah. there with the sentiment mm -hmm. would make a terrific card, you know, without doing all the extra layering. So we've got him ready. And then what I've done is I've die cut the background piece with the birch trees out of some brown cardstock. So this one's actually this piece here that I've done in, a dish, uh, in, in preparation. And what I've done is I've got it stuck. Will's worst thing to see on TV, isn't it? But I've got it stuck to a piece of acetate. Right. All right. And I've got that prepped. I'll show you what we're going to do with that bit. So let's have a look at actually putting this together. I've got my pieces. I've also used um, this is actually not the one from the kit. This is a, one of our nesting squares because I wanted it just a wee bit bigger yeah. than the one from the kit. So this is actually one of our nesting squares that I've done just to line up with it. Looked at which one fit. And this is actually going to go around the outside of that frame. OK, so I've got a bit of sticking to do. I don't know whether you want to carry on watching me or whether you've got anything else you need to, uh, to well, say, Ben. Um, yeah, I'm just to, um, pop some bits together. Lots of comments coming in. Um, Susie saying the embossing idea. Uh, great, thank you. That's from a little bit earlier on. And uh, also, um, lots of people kind of cottoning onto the fact now um, about why your um, sort of presentation style is so <laughs> you know, patient and so sort of delivered. Uh, lots of people going, oh, now it makes, it makes sense. sense. Jam as a teacher. <laughs> I've, always, Spent... I've always said, because um, I, I uh, thought about becoming a teacher, um, and I, I don't know, if I was going to do it, I would have always chosen to do primary school teaching, I think, as opposed to secondary school. Because in my mind, it's it, perhaps a little bit easier to teach primary school children or, or oh, not. Well, no, I don't know. Red. I don't know, to be honest. I've not worked in secondary, but my youngest daughter teaches secondary school maths. Yeah. And my goodness, yeah, what challenge. Hard work. Yeah, challenge it is. I admire her, I really do. When she told me, I'm like, are you sure? Yeah. Because <laughs> obviously they'd grown up with me working in school. I'm like, you really want to be a teacher? She's only young, she's only 12. Well, <laughs> sorry to think about that for a second. Go oh, by me. <laughs> no, I don't, it depends. She's, ooh, she, she'd be thrilled if you said that she was only young. Yeah. <laughs> right, uh. so what we're going to do now then, let me get this, as I say, it's a while since I actually got these ready. The reason I've put this on the acetate is because I want to trap it in between the two layers here so that it shows behind the window you can't see that very well there can you if i tilt it see the trees in there okay so all i'm going to do is take the uh 
the pieces off there. Okay, uh, just to say, people are trying to second guess what's going on, why we're not gonna are be they? here in the next two days. I can confirm, all right, as much as I would love this, because, I mean, Christmas time is normally pantomime time for me. I've done, I've done nine of them over the years, but I can confirm that we are not doing a live pantomime on um, on Wednesday. I mean, <laughs> that's not to say that next Christmas we don't do a, a panty, because I would, I would love that. I would be well up for that. But uh, no, it is not a pantomime that is happening on Wednesday. Guess again. Do you know, I used to do pantomime when I was younger. Oh, then. no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. I wasn't acting. No. Believe it or not, and I still laugh when I say it now, I used to dance. Wait, what are you, what, what's the what, what? I used to be one of the chorus dancers, yeah. Were you? Tap shoes and the lot, yeah. Really? Very long time ago. Yeah. My goodness, it seems like an age ago. Yeah, it really does. Any videos uh, circulating? Probably not. There no. wasn't such thing as video cameras then, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Oh, wow. So, my piece that we've die cut out of the um, gilding flakes, I've just got a piece of acetate, and this is a piece out of an old set that's got the snowflakes on. Yeah. So I'm literally just gonna stick that on. I'm just conscious of the time as to whether we're actually gonna get finished. Time's ticking away. How long have we got left, Johnny? We've got about six minutes. Oh, we're okay, we shouldn't be too bad then. I was doing panto last year with uh, Tom Owen from Last of the Summer Wine. Oh yeah? Yeah, I've done a few pantos over the years. I worked with Britt Eklund about seven or eight years ago. Wow! Bongo, panto and Torquay. Oh, I wasn't that, uh, it wasn't that yeah. famous. It was just a local uh, society that we we worked for oh, when yeah. we were younger. That's what I, I started off doing and then th sort of through the, the radio that I used to do, um, the, the panto used to always come to town. They used to want like a local, well not, I don't call myself a celeb, but you know what I mean? That type of person to join it. And I just ended up working for this company yeah. for for years. The one which uh, Craig fun. always gets very excited about is that I work with Trojan. Remember Gladiators? Oh yes. I worked with him a few years ago. Really? And, uh, Craig, very excited. We said we're going to try and get Trojan on a craft house. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> even that though he doesn't cry. Brilliant. Yeah. Even no, though he doesn't cry. Anyway. <laughs> right. So that bit now is going to stick on the front there. So just round the edge. My producer's just saying he likes the colours. I think the turquoise and the craft card is one of my favourite combinations. Yeah, not seen it before. Especially for Christmas stuff. Yeah. So that one's going to go round there like so. Whoops. Stick it down. Just needs a second for that tacky glue to grab. I just think as well, I said it a minute ago, but craft card on Christmas makes, I think is always In fact, whoops, bad. let me pull that one back off because I need this bit on first. Nearly, nearly, I forgot my little frame. This is gonna make me matte and layer. So that one wants to go around the aperture first. Okay. So that one's gonna go on there first and then we're gonna sit the other one on top of it so that we've got that little brown. Edge. So, so bring plenty that of time. One. Still got five minutes, so don't don't rush. Bring that one back, and you can see we've got that edge round it now. That's where I was heading. Yeah, got you. And then again, in that set, you've also got. I love the the way that they've used the. Um, they spelt it wrong. The wording, the dear friend, my moon is trying to escape. Oh. Is there? Look, I've got the moon and the star. You have. And then we've got that wording. So I was going to go with, dear. Uh, we'll have deer at the top there, uh -huh. and then we'll put friend at the bottom. This is special, isn't it? I yeah. love this card. Love this card. Marilyn saying, I know this card is going to be stunning. Oh, it bless. Is, isn't it? Look at it. It's Fantastic. just, I'm just, the glue's not uh, sticking as well as I would like yet, because mm. it's the, it just takes a second or two. And then this one, I was going to put on the background so that you could see... through the window there. Oh, yeah. Yep. And then, I don't know, my little moon's gone. He's gone here while he didn't want to play. So all I've got left to do now is just to stick those together and you can see we've got that lovely diorama shape going on there. That is okay. fantastic. The so colours. I'm just going to pop some glue on those sides Gorgeous. and stick it together. I love watching you, Jan, says Eleanor on Facebook. Thank you. You always give detail with everything, especially with the measurements of your cards. So thank you. Uh, and Lil J Craft on Facebook says, I'm thinking I might spend Christmas trying to sort out craft supplies, but I do keep promising uh, and sorted out living room craft last year two other rooms to go. Oh, so, you, like, so yours is just spilt out all over the place Oops. then by the sounds of it. Crafty stuff all over the house. Wow, so I, bet, I bet there's lots of other crafters up and down the land who have uh, crafted, not just a craft room, but craft rooms that aren't supposed to be craft rooms. I started out like that. I started out on my dining table and it very quickly got too much for the table. Um, so I've, I've actually got my own craft room now. Have you? 
this well, one I yeah i just need to trim this one a wee bit because i've put the acetate inside yeah it's just pulling it in a little bit so i'm just going to pop it there and trim those edges off well mary lee is a big fan of the card the color combination is smashing on this deer card says mary lee really love it and you've got three um smiling emoji heart thank things. you uh and crafty is saying the snow in front of the trees looks incredible does, it really does look fantastic that's why i think um this uh, this particular die has been popular individually remember that the main collection is sold out unfortunately uh, there the deer is one of the four animals you can go for oh Look i found that. my moon that's he's quality. stuck on the back i love that he's just it's escaping i was going to put the little moon oh, in the moon? here yes ah. it was stuck to the back there we go so you're just looking through that tunnel you've got the snow behind the deer yeah. you've got those trees in the background and then on the third layer back you've got the little star in the background there imagine, as well. imagine i'm in like a little uh, christmas sort of uh, lodge somewhere and I'm looking out through yeah. the window and that's the scene that's brilliant yeah, lots of different techniques you've got those sparkle pots in there we've got the gilding flakes in there as I say a little bit of the acetate it's a, an old pack that one but plain acetate would look just as nice if you haven't got the um, the snow um, the old corrector fluid that we used to use oh yes yeah yeah, yeah. just use the uh, end of a ball tool or something like that if you've got a um, I've just not got, I've not got a little one in there but just the smaller ones than these mm. in the corrector fluid and just dab it on and let it dry or Brilliant. a bit of texture paste anything like that you can make your own fantastic well I tell you what I feel that that show was was not only timed perfectly but I feel <laughs> like a, like a musical piece it, like we, we drove to the crescendo there <laughs> of that demo because that was definitely the, my favorite of um, all of the cars you did and there were some terrific demos Thank you. Um, on that show just brilliant hey well that was good our first show together wasn't it it was yes, yes. we've got another one coming up later excellent stuff yes. we have um make sure if you've got any of these items in your cart in your basket you check them out between now and uh, four o'clock and as jan says uh, we are back with you in an hour second chance sunday so lots more demonstrations coming up Lots of goodies as well to get your hands on, so uh, we shall get ready for that. Thank you to Jan once again, absolutely brilliant, and I shall look forward to seeing Jan and you guys uh, back here in one hour's time. Bye for now.